And there we go. This time a little bit of a starter, uh, a faster start. Yeah, we're all already starting with a really bad intro there. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, greetings there, folks. Uh, this time I figured I'd do something a bit different, and that is uh, make a stream, but also publish it later down the line as a full, you know, public viewable thing as a beginner's guide. Uh, beginner's guide for Elite Dangerous. Uh, in the past, I've done this before, kind of um, testing, you know, different ways to get up and running quickly with the knowledge that I have about the game and uh, basically gathering as many credits as possible to, you know, get the great start. And that's what I'm going to be today doing as well. As you can see, the Sidewinder is ready. My uh, bank account kind of is ready, and I'll explain how I basically will uh, start from zero. So first things first, I don't have another account uh, that has Odyssey, and this will be with the help of Odyssey, sort of a start. Um, but of course, there are ways uh, to quickly get uh, get going with uh, um, Horizons version or the base game. Doesn't really matter which one. Um, I, again. Base game and Horizons are two different things. Uh, technically, these days, they're both one and the same, kind of combined, and I don't know why there is... Uh, anyways, whatever, doesn't matter. Let's get into it, and I'll try to quickly go through it, and as fast as possible, <clears throat> get going, and uh, basically showcase in just a couple of hours how to get from Sidewinder to, well, at least a Python that is ready to do great things. Let's just say. So, let's start with a setup. So, what do I get? What do I got? I got a Sidewinder, a stock Sidewinder that you would get after uh, completing a tutorial. If uh, you start a game or want to restart your save, uh, you can always skip the tutorial and you're going to be immediately transported to, if I remember correctly, Dromi system, uh, where the tutorial ends. And from then on, you can go wherever. Since... I don't really want to restart my save with all the upgrades and all the things. I'm gonna be going with uh, just a simpler method, but uh, one that has proven to be uh, just as uh, representative of the real world, with some slight uh, adjustments, but regardless. So, I'm not clearing my save, but what I'm doing is, uh, first things first, as you can see, my uh, credit score there uh, specifically is... Well, more or less rounded down to the nearest potential million, if you will. Uh, this time specifically to 3 billion 800 million. Except for two credits. I couldn't get it quite right. Eh, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna start with uh, minus two credits. So, whenever I end this uh, whole stream, um, specifically, or this long quote-unquote video, uh, later down the line, and yes, this is live, so those people who are at the time watching, Hello, fuckers! <laughs> I can actually swear now that a couple of uh, minutes have passed since the start of the thing, so we can go, you know, properly with that language. But, so, um, yeah, basically, first things first I did was get the Sidewinder, you know, stock Sidewinder, Sidewinder I haven't uh, altered it at all, so that's basically what the people who just start the game, unless they have special special version of, doesn't matter. Uh, will be playing with. And I have a uh, reference point in the credit way. So I can't, uh, or rather I'll put a rule for myself that I wouldn't go lower than uh, 3 billion 800 million. That'll be my reference point or sort of zero uh, point. So how to first start LE Dangerous properly on the right foot? Assuming that people who are watching uh, are new to the game, would be, um, you know, familiar with the tutorial information, you know, how to pilot a ship, how to jump from system to system, and so on and so forth. That's all you really need to know to do what I'm doing, and you can follow through as well. So, um, let's see... Da -da -da -da. And no, I'm not gonna be doing this in open, just uh, since I'm also streaming. Anyways, right, so, um, first things first, outfitting-wise, uh, you know, the Sidewinder that uh, everyone starts with usually has, uh, you know, gear and so on and so forth that immediately uh, I'm going to be selling. However, when uh, you start the game, all the things on the starter Sidewinder are free. Uh, essentially, they are quote-unquote loaned. Uh, basically, they have zero cost. So selling, you're not going to get any money back. I will. 
So yeah, as you can see, as I'm selling, you know, guns, I'm getting a few credits. They don't matter. They really won't matter. Uh, it's a far too few credits. Uh, so yeah. Uh, to start on the right foot, I'm just going to do one mission just to get enough credits uh, to get a decent jump range and then I'm going to execute the money uh, grind, if you will. Also, the reason why I am... See, these loaned parts specifically, right? On every Sidewinder nowadays, there are, you know, two specific parts. On every small ship specifically, there are two parts that are uh, loaned and they... they don't cost anything, they're sort of for free, and they don't count towards the rebuy of the um, chip itself. But I don't need Super Cruise Assist. Um, again, it's a useful thing, but don't need it. Advanced Docking, again, those that uh, haven't, you know, learned how to dock correctly, it's a wonderful tool. You just simply set it and forget it. It's wonderful. Uh, but, you know, it has its own problems. Uh, program uh, pro programmically speaking, I guess. So, anyways... So, I'm just going to get rid of that. It just takes extra space and power. Um, I don't need cargo space, at least yet, yet. And shield generator also I will risk without. Because, ultimately speaking, I know how to fly. Kind of. <laughs> but no. Alright. So, everything's uh, cleared up. And I got the most jump range I could get out of uh, this rust bucket, shall we say. Right, so... First things first is to get a little bit of credits, and technically, yes, I have, you know, 70,000, but uh, just for the sake of uh, uh, fairness, you know, starting the game, you wouldn't have any credits. You would have, you know, 1,000 uh, credits that you start with, and the first thing you'd do is just do a mission. Well, I could do that. Uh, also, right, uh, since I'm not in the starter zone, I figured I could just uh, position myself as close to the starter zone as possible. Um... Right, what I would usually do is uh, do a little bit of um, a road to riches at the very start to get the first million in, in just a couple of minutes. And that's honestly something I could do right now. However, um, I'm just going to do what most people tend to do, and that is just a mission. And that's all you really need to do. Just get a few credits in just to get started. So, let's see what we got for uh, offers. And uh, what I'm looking for is basically a mission that will give me a little bit of money to outfit my ship for jump range. And that's all I really need to. I'm not going to be doing any of these missions. And yes, technically, my character is affected because of my, you know, ranks and whatnot else a little bit. But um, what really affects the mission prices uh, or pay is the reputation you get with uh, all the factions. And as you can see, none of them have been swayed towards me. They're by default on the default uh, um, size. Right, so... Um, Mission-wise, we got... Uh, no, killing is not going to be good. Uh, transporting stuff, you don't have cargo space for that, even for the smaller missions. Uh, let's see... Courier job, right, so... What was that? Um, <laughs> the data stored in your computer, blah, blah, blah. right, so basically this is the data delivery mission, and 50,000 credits is enough to outfit your ship a little bit with a... some sort of a jump drive that is not crap. All right, so... Mm, <laughs> I could do one of those missions, but god damn it, Road to Riches is just way too good for this. Hold on. Okay, so you know what? Um, oh, gods. Please tell me I don't have any data on me. Fuck, I have. Um, 30,000. You know what? I'm gonna spend 30,000 and... Uh, zero out... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna quickly zero out my, uh, my credit balance. And then go for old riches. So, how could I zero out my credits? Right. Damn it! Tried to already prepare the stream beforehand. Uh, I bought a random ship just to zero out stuff. Uh, first things first, I'm just gonna zero out. Uh, ignore this, basically, in the stream. I'm gonna put uh, uh, timestamps for this as well uh, later down the line. But uh, for now, and also useful tools down below uh, for the links for you know the tools that I use and so on and so forth. So uh, I'm just gonna zero out. Let's let's see, forty nine thousand. So that's what I need to spend. Uh, let's see, forty. 49,000. What's the closest I can get to 40 to 49? Um, 
now refinery 30 okay fuck it i'm just gonna put uh, 30 okay 12,000. um i need to just spend more 12,000. let's see what can i buy for you know as close as possible for it just to zero out 12,000, 4,000. Uh, prospector 42. God damn it, that was it. Hmm? All right, here we go. Uh, 20, no. Uh, also the same. Module reinforcements, no. Hull reinforcements, no. 12,000, 12,000. Something cheap, damn it. Uh, something I could buy at mass, maybe. Good enough. Close enough. Okay, so 2,000 is going to be my uh, zero there. All right. Uh, buy a hauler. Well, uh, actually, no. The plan is not to really spend anything more on the ship. Um, you can start doing road to riches, which is my usual go-to for um, for starting fresh, right? So, now, now that I have uh, zeroed out more or less my uh, credit bank, what I'm going to do is uh, open up browser, find road to riches uh, tool. Let's see, do I have it? Oh, well, look at that. Uh... Okay, Humble Bundle. Oh, right, I actually do have hum Humble Bundle uh, referral code down below, too. That's an old one. I don't think that Streamlabs was using the alerts for that. Anyways, doesn't matter. Right, Road to Riches, Road to Riches. Where is the link for... Ah, you know what, I'm just going to Google it. Uh, road to Riches. You can watch my video about it. I'll link it down below as well once I'm done. Um, but yeah, uh, Road to Riches, Elite... Uh, yep, there we go. No, not Spanch, not my favorite tool. There we go, that's the tool. Uh, there we go, you can see the tool. So basically what I'm gonna be writing in is the system I am currently in, Dahadeti system, right? Dahadeti system, get route, route riches, uh, formal house. I think I've scanned this before. Oh, this is gonna not, oh yeah, this is not gonna be good. Um, all right, before I start, I need fuel scoop. With a thousand credits, you can still buy a fuel scoop. Um, hopefully this system has the, oh gods, uh, fuel scoops. Uh, E-rated fuel scoop usually is available everywhere. Yep, and that's below a thousand. So that's the only purchase I can make with the starting thousand credits. That's good enough. It's gonna take a while, but uh, okay. Do please tell me I have scanned formal hout. Uh, that'd be bad. You know what? I don't need a lot of. Yeah, I. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to formal hout and yep, or at least near to it and scan systems that I go to, but usually what I do is literally a road reaches for a little bit, get about 2 million, because uh, all of these things that uh, road reaches uh, showcase, uh, systems, or rather specifically bodies to scan, they are about 1 million credits worth, give or take on average, so 1 million per thing, right, uh, you scan two systems, you're done, you, you got 2 million, you can buy pretty much all the decent uh, starting ships. Usually I scan a few uh, to get an ASP and then go do the next thing after uh, what I'm going to be doing, but uh, for Mohauts, yeah, oh, I hate this. I hate this new UI. I genuinely hate this, but, you know, for Odyssey's sake, might as well do it. Right, so uh, the jump range doesn't allow me to do much, so that's why I say doing, you know, a simple mission uh, at start to get better jump range is probably a good idea, but you know, whatever. I hate this menu so goddamn much. There we go. That's the fastest route, huh? All right, then. Uh, realistic mode, map modes, map modes. Star type. Right, here's a little thing about uh, also in, you know, the beginner. Since this is going to be a beginner's guide, scoopable stars uh, or fuelable stars. I think the game also shows them off, but uh, basically it is these, the, these top seven. M type is the lowest one that you can uh, fuel scoop from, and everything above that is fuelable stars. Everything below that is non uh, fuelables, except for white dwarves and non sequence stars. Um, that is uh, the 
uh, white dwarves and neutron stars. Um, those uh, increase the jump range, but again, whatever. Uh, don't need to know that right now. Um, fuelable, 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 and okay, I'm gonna be good. All right, and off we go. So, uh, within the first 15 minutes, I managed to uh, lift off. Hawks, uh, do you have good sound uh, sounds on on Yamex? Uh, do not have game sounds on. I do have them. It's just very silent. Hold on, actually, it's very very silent. I tend tend to keep game volume down. All right, I might as well just increase it a little bit. But uh, but yeah, I usually keep the game uh, volume down so that you can actually hear my horrible voice. But there we go. But yeah. Surprise, surprise to see a fellow content creator, Hawks, around. So, hello. Shout out. Alright. Um, might as well go and uh, do a little bit of Road to Riches. Because, yeah, Road to Riches, no matter if you're playing uh, Odyssey, Horizons, whatever ga uh, game mode, you can do it in a literal rust bucket you don't need any gear except for fuel scoop maybe just to keep you alive but that's just basically a good knowledge for overall uh play you know um so yeah uh figure it out to you know just basically demonstrate it live uh so if i fuck up i fuck up <laughs> oh but there you go Uh, will they ever revert back to Horizon's uh, menu? Sadly, I think the company thinks their new UI is better, and I highly disagree. Provably so. I literally, if, again, if anyone says the new UI is better, I can prove you wrong, and I will. In fact, I have my videos. Watch them. But hey, you know, we all can enjoy, uh... Garbage, you know, sometimes I like to watch really bad TV shows, too You know, it's it's my garbage. It's my trash <laughs> But no, whatever right um, uh, Fronted developments is about to go to zero. They won't uh, have anything uh, that, that doesn't make money Yeah, I've seen the recent stock drops the thing is again. This is beside the tutorial thing, but it's interesting to talk that currently the uh, front end development stock, the company's overall stock, has dropped to the low of the lo to lowest point since 2017, when um, uh, when the company was uh, when the company released uh, or had released um, roller coaster. For, no, not roller. God damn it! Um, it was. Uh, damn it, it was the, 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 the planet coaster. There we go. Right, first things first, every time you jump, might as well honk it just to see whether or not you get any credits. You do get a little bit of credits if you... And there you go, a little bit of money from scanning. So, I might as well... Ah, okay, never mind. Everything in this area, right, right there... Mwah. Not worth scanning. Absolutely not worth scanning. Uh, let's see, do you have an atmosphere suit? Bruh! Okay, bruh! I don't have it, bruh! I started fresh. Bruh! Or rather, I do have it on this account. Uh, since I don't want to restart, uh, <laughs> I don't want to restart my, uh, account. I'm just gonna ignore the existing suits that I- Oh, crap, I have one equipped. I'm not gonna do any Odyssey stuff right now. Okay? I'm gonna buy it. Uh, a fresh one once, uh, once you know, I get the money. Probably some people al already know what I'm gonna be doing, and I think Hawks already uh, figured it, figured it out. Uh, but yeah, um, outside of uh, Odyssey, uh, the other most fastest start of the game is literally doing Road to Riches. There's just no two ways about it. Within our hour, you get 20 million and uh, 20 million credits, and with that, you can easily start doing the next thing that is actually really, really useful. Right, let's see. You might as well scan this stuff. Not necessarily you're gonna get a lot of uh, credits from it, but you know, hey, a little bit of credits is good enough. Uh, in fact, um, 
Yeah, looks like that's the only one around. Uh, crap, I am out of uh, fuel, so can I fuel here? Should be able to. Um, uh, made 50 million an hour uh, and a uh, half doing road plus ground. Uh, yeah, that's a really bad way of doing it. The bottom line is, uh, you're gonna see, basically. Um, once you get rolling with one of uh, one specific type, it is better. Uh, detailed surface scanner is not a great idea. Um, although, let's see, you get a little bit... Well, technically, yeah, if you're just going for one system I, and it's very close, maybe. But uh, ultimately, it is faster to jump in, quickly scan within you know a minute or so, jump out. Because it takes shit ton of time to get to a planet and then scan it or uh, probe it, right? Uh, so it's a waste of time. It absolutely is a waste of time. Um, uh, um, let's see. Am I mathing wrong? Wait. One hour and a half, I assume, for 25 million doesn't beat 50 million at uh, the same time. Uh, the thing is, road reaches average is 20 million. Mm. 18 to 20, I would say, but uh, but regardless. Um, but there are faster ways. There are absolutely faster ways of uh, starting the game, of course. You know, again, starting, you need to set up your ship to, you know, go places because the starting sidewinder is. Oh, it's. Yep, yeah, as you can see, not great. You don't have credits to start uh, properly, I guess. So, let's see. But yeah. There's that initial period of just. Getting to that money maker, but um, well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm hoping within twenty. Uh, I'm hoping within two hours, uh, I'll be able to go to the good old Robigo. Technically, with all the riches, you can do that easily, uh, but with a python, not an asp. That's kind of the plan. Let's see. Scan just in case. Okay, what do we got? Come on. Oh wait, whoops. Uh, nothing good. Welcome to the galaxy. Is uh, 10k follow-up mission is uh, 100k. We're doing for noobs. Um, I mean, ultimately. I would say Road to Riches is immediately better. Because, right, so so calculating the, you know, relative credits an hour, uh, right, so you're going to be doing Road to Riches for a stable, um, you know, 20 to 15 million an hour, depending on, of course, how far your ship can jump, and with the stock side, well, 50, 15 million an hour, compared to, you know, below even a million with, uh, with, Car, uh, not even cargo missions with um, delivery missions like that. So yeah, it's 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 just it doesn't compare. Sadly, uh, you get the money to get a holder. Yes, that is true. Um, so yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, uh, getting a couple of starter missions to get that first initial hundred thousand uh, just to outfit a holder. Now that is an investment. Absolutely, I agree with that. So yeah, the initial couple of missions certainly are, you know, more more of a investment, uh, a pr proper investment, investment than straight going into Road to Riches. But uh, as I've speed run Elite, uh, quote unquote speed run, that is how fast I can go to Anaconda, sort of. Sort of um, that uh, I usually use Road to Riches, and it has proven to be far better um, at doing the job. So. Yeah, I've tried this a few times, if you can't tell. <laughs> oh boy, but yeah, there you go. Alright, so that gives me a couple of planets, not necessarily... Uh, they're not guaranteed to be good. That's the thing. Um, so I'm just uh, fucking about. Uh, let's see, two jumps until... Formal halt. So next system is gonna be formal halt. Hopefully, I... actually, hold on, let me check. Not to run out of fuel. That's that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can go to formal halt. Great. Sweet. 
So that'll be about a million. That's good enough. Moving on. Within half an hour, give or take, I'm gonna be at a uh, good starting. Actually, within a half an hour, you can do those couple of missions, and it is far less rewarding. We'll see about the price. First of all, you do need to go 20, uh, 20 light years away from uh, the paying star. Uh, the, you know, the big pay. Uh, otherwise, you can't hand in the data, so that is another, you know, travel time. But that's three, four jumps, and that's fine. Okay. Right, scan. System scan complete. Stop. Do. No, nothing good. Moving on. Am I using an eye tracker? Um, today, no. Mostly because it would not li really look good as a, you know, a video later down the line. Because constantly move the eyes to the chats to answer you folks, uh, those that are watching at the time, and um, and just checking a couple a couple of other things. Primarily, that that the stream is actually going. <laughs> Yay! Oh boy! All right. But uh, but yeah, not today. But uh, yeah. Um, if you're interested about uh, interested about uh, Toby Eye Tracker, I've done a video before. I was genuinely pleasantly surprised about uh, about it. So yeah, uh, it's uh, it's a really interesting te technology. Um, so yeah, there's a also a refer a referral code. So <clears throat> if you want to get a little bit of discount plus you know support uh, uh, my endeavors, there's there's that. But I, but I guess if you want to support the content I make and all that good stuff, well, you know, you can always go and check out the Patreon and all blah 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 blah. You know, who's gonna promote me if, if not myself, right? And that's the usual thing, isn't it? I don't remember exactly where were the best paying planet locations, so I'm just gonna scan the whole system. Screw it. You have the time. Though I'm st speed running, screw it. Not not necessarily speed running, but at least showing the fast, est ish kind of well real life uh, example of fast uh, gathering for if uh, for credits and so on and so forth. But, but uh, yeah, I need to jack up the sensitivity because this is just nightmare. All right, yeah, good. All right, now. Now what I need to do is go hand in the data. However, I can't hand in the data in this system. So what I need to do, uh, or any uh, data overall, you need to travel 20 light years away. So, uh, just to pair it up with... Uh, let's see... With, uh, with the place I'm gonna be going next... Uh, I might as well open up delete the database real quick if i can yep there we go uh eddb right so what i'm looking for is a station yes there we go select module um what was this uh, artemis i think it was no damn it Oh, uh, where to buy Artemis spacesuits? Now that's a big question. Grrr. Don't tell me I'm gonna need to use Indra. No, damn it. Find commodity, commodities, no factions, stations, attractions, bodies. No, it should be in stations. Does LE database not have it? It should have it, right? Um. Uh, da, 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 any station, uh, any station or settlement, you say? No, I don't think that Artemis is available on, on any station. Was it? Fuel scooping complete. Um, thinking. Yes, the chat says yes. Almost any state. Well, there, there you go. Almost. That's kind of the problem. Almost. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna trust chats. Let's make it make it a risky thing. So instead, what I'm gonna be doing is travel to. I could look up for uh, or look for a useful starport. Might as well copy this. That uh, that could sell me a, a decent uh, FSD upgrade. In fact, I probably should. You know what? Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, where is my? There we go. 
so what I'm going to be looking for is... Uh, gods, what was the FSD for Sidewinder 2A? Uh, modules, thrusters. Frame drive is 2, yes. Uh, okay, so that is 2A. Uh, frame shift drive there we go that's all i'm i'm gonna do this in uh sidewinder screw it and system of reference is where i am currently right what i'm gonna be looking for is a system that is 20 light years away as well 20 20 20 there we go 20 uh, just just to be safe on 21 light years so ross okay Let's see, where is the Ross? Because uh, there is a specific region that I also want to go to. Yep, that's exactly. I want to go upwards a little bit. So off we go to Ross. And look at that, I actually can get there with a the full fuel tank without scooping. Great. Great, let's go, let's go. Come on. Uh, I'd go with a hauler after a couple of uh, scans. Well, we'll see whether or not the starport has... Uh, let's see... Blake's Folly. Do we have a hauler? We have slaves! Okay. Um, outfitting... Yeah, it doesn't have... Yeah, it doesn't have shipyard. So, I'm just gonna run around with the Sidewinder. Sidewinder has a decent jump range. It's a middle of the ground, bottom line uh, for everything. Or rather, the, the, the baseline for everything. So, fuck it. Let's do it. The reason why would uh, why would you use a hauler, for those that are unfamiliar with Elite Dangerous, uh, that might be watching in the future, um, is uh, that a uh, hauler is that... Yeah, is the third fa uh, furthest jumping ship without engineering. And even with... No, hold on. I think Crate. Crate Phantom could actually out jump it, I think. Uh, it was like fourth or something like that with engineering. Basically, as the, s as the smallest ship in the game, um, without engineering, it jumps really far. Um, so, yeah. If you strip it out... It genuinely is uh, the best uh, explorer ship uh, that really doesn't cost at all. You can do road to riches 20 million an hour easily um, with the same ship as, you know, as the big boys. Um, and that's the beauty of uh, Hauler. Literally less than 100,000 uh, credits and you're golden. And that's the kind of a beauty of that. So there we go. Uh, you can always buy an Asp Explorer or Diamondback Explorer. Yeah, no, I agree. I personally prefer Diamondback Explorer because it is cheaper and it is a bit more maneuverable than Asp. But Asp jumps... Actually, no. Diamondback also jumps further. Asp only has a better cockpit, kind of. And uh, Asp also has a... God damn it, what was it? Uh, ah, yes, right. More uh, compartments to put stuff in, so... Better fuel scoop too, though uh, Diamondback Explorer has a bigger fuel scoop. As in, uh, Diamondback Explorer can make. Um, let me if I, uh, let me see if I remember correctly. Uh, it could make oh, for fuck's sakes, eleven jumps with a full tank. Uh, Asp could do about eight if I remember correctly. So yeah, and don't confuse it with Asp Scout. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> Oh, God. So, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, big fuel tank balanced out with a small fuel scoop. So, that's the Di Diamondback Explorer. You can always rewatch my old uh, uh, ship reviews for that, more in uh, for that and more in-depth information. <laughs> so, there you go. Yeah, as you jump in every system, just glancing over the star before you can actually jump is probably a good idea, you know. It'll, even a little bit of fuel can save you, so not a bad idea overall. Okay. 
There we go. Well, there we go. Ah, damn it. There we go. Wait, did I turn off something? No, good. Right. And I am in the system. Right, so where is the star port? Yep. Oh, there we go. That's the star port. I can buy my FSD there, and that's all I need. Well, that and, uh, and, and, and the space suit. We'll see whether or not uh, it is available. So, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Diamondback Explorer is very forgiving in heat department. Yes, you're right. The Diamondbacks are... I've never tested it specifically, but, you know, it, it's kind of always felt. The Diamondback Explorer, uh, Explorer and Scout both have the lowest... Uh, uh, heat generation, or rather the the lowest bottom line of the uh, heat, uh, no, heat meter, if you will, or capacity, either which one it is, basically, uh, they are often the best ones for, uh, quote-unquote, stealth, even though there's really not, no, 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 stealth in Elite Dangerous, you can call it, yeah, yeah, who cares, you can call it stealth, but, there really isn't. Uh, in fact, the stealth mechanics with an Elite Dangerous are horrible, both in space and on ground, so... Yeah. And yeah, if you if you ever thought that uh, Fallout had a bad stealth mechanic... Mm, yeah, this is even worse. Alright, request docking, as always. And witness the Yamek's greatest... He hits of literally hitting and ramming stations. Oh boy. I could ram the starport, but because I'm carrying the data that I don't want to explode, also not having shields. Not a great idea. So let's just be careful. Then sorry. And within thir yeah, 38 minutes uh, since I started, I have docked and... I will get, let's see, right, so, credit-wise, yep, credit-wise there, no, not commodities, no, 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 universal cartographics to hand in the data, and, uh, formal house, it's not a million, yeah, it's, yeah, okay, screw it, 250,000, uh, good enough, in, 40 minutes to start out, good enough. Now, while the ship is going in for the outfitting, what else can I do? Also, did I get any other data that I could not hand in? Yep, you can see a couple of pieces of data that I could not hand in because I need to travel 20 plus light years away from the distant, uh, from that area to hand it in. It's a stupid rule. It really is a stupid rule, but you know, whatever, there you go. Right, outfitting. So, what I need is just one thing, and that is, well, maybe a fuel scoop too, but first things first, a better frame shift drive, right? Replace. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. E EDDB. Oi. Oi. I can only... God damn it. Okay, fine. B-rated will do. Screw it. Yeah, whatever. Right. The next step to increase the, the, the jump range a little bit, or at least as much as possible, is buying D-rated parts of your ship. So, D-rated thrusters, or if you can go lower. Sadly, there's none here. Uh, D-rated uh, power plant. Nope, none here. Um, life support. Damn it, this is a crap starport. Okay, yeah, I probably should have looked <laughs> looked into a better starport. 
Oh no! Oh, okay. No, oh, okay. This is bad. Uh, I probably sh Okay, yeah, I should have looked into a better starport with more stuff. Shit. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. What I need now is one more part, and that is detailed surface scanner, but I highly doubt- Oh, crap, for that- mm. Surface scanners. Detailed surface scanner. And do I have money for it? That is kind of the problem. Where's my money? No, I don't. Shit. Uh, right, interesting side note for those that are unfamiliar with Elite Dangerous. Uh, ships, when you're selling them, you lose money. Uh, you get back about 75% of the ship's cost. Not counting modules. Modules sell for 100%. Uh, money. So, back and forth, you can sell them, you know, and buy them without troubles. Looks like I'm gonna have to replace this back to... Uh, yeah, my E-rated thing. Um, right, I'm just gonna equip the module. And I... What? Oh, I didn't sell it! God damn it. Wait, what? Oh, for fucks. Mm. Sell. Sell. Damn it. Okay, I need a little bit more credits for the most important part here. And that is the surface scanner. Okay. D damn it. Oh, and the spacesuit, yes. Alright, I guess I'm going back out there. <laughs> Fuck! Alright, uh, this is bad. Um, well, I do have a little bit of uh, credits left in, uh, in, in, in the Universal Cartographics. So what I'm just gonna do... You know what, I'm just gonna go straight. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Planning out. Yeah, planning out. You know what? I'm just gonna go... I don't know why I have... I marked that area, but I'm just gonna go straight for... Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna go for... One of these stars. Let's see. Um, do you have a starport? Apparently, yes. Not guaranteed to have a... Outfitting. Damn it. Um... Hold on, there's a better way to find... Uh, no, not that. No, not that. Map. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. Trade, population, there we go. Just increase the population minimum and you will see systems with... Uh, yep, as long as there are a couple of million people living, there's always a big starport. So I'm just going there. Screw it. God damn it! <laughs> Yep, happens to best of us. So yeah, not exactly a speed run, but hey, you know that's that's the real world uh, example of you know starting out. If you want to just maximize it, yeah, of course you can plan it out, and it will take a while. And that's what you would normally do for a video. And that's what I would normally do for a video. But you know, hey, this is a real world example. So within the ha within the first hour. Yeah, I'm just still doing this. God damn it. <laughs> oh well, you know. Part of part of doing it. Got no, nope, nothing good. Moving on. Come to think of it, I hold on. I don't have the no wait. 
No, I don't have the road riches open anymore. Uh, but uh, basically, I think I yeah, with this account, I have scanned uh, formal halt already before. So I think I didn't get the money from it uh, as I expected it. So yeah, that would kind of kind of answer the question of hey, why so low money? You might experience it different because again, this account has been around for holy crap quite a long time um actually that's a good question how long actually have i played it 19 weeks six days and go figure out how many hours is that um i think six days no not six days six weeks well nearly six weeks was um uh, about a thousand hours, so that would make uh, slightly above three thousand uh, hours. Yeah, but in that time, I've done a lot of things, and this is just one of them in the cavalcade of nonsense that I've uh, uh, sort of pushed myself to do. There we go. Screw it. Might as well scan it. <laughs> yeah, you don't get a lot of money out of uh, ringed planets or gas giants, which sucks, but you know, hey, at least a few extra credits are necessary and uh, that's all I really need right about now. You could do alternatively a uh, bounty hunting sort of a thing or rather just going to uh, has res or well not has res but high res uh, high resource extraction site where basically NPCs spawn in or nav beacon and just uh, uh, wait until cops are st starting to shoot at a criminal and t just touch the criminal uh, before they die and you get, get the bounty numbers uh you know, bounty to your account since you know ai kills it uh so you can basically just scam money <laughs> if you will um it, it's not it's not repeatable that's that's the problem and that's the reason why i'm no, not doing bounty hunting but you can always do that it's not you know the worst way of doing it but you know, it is a bit. Uh, um, um, broken walking, have they fixed the game yet? Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring there, so... Mm -mm. And, um, welcome back. I've literally... On Monday, like, six... No, yeah, six days ago, I released Elite Dangerous video. Where the fuck do you think I was going? <laughs> it's not like I was just vanished from the osmosis of Elite Dangerous or whatever. I'm always here. You all still got me. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Just get away from the star a little bit. Um. Probably not a good... Yeah, this is not the best way to spend time, but, you know, hey, if I'm here, might as well. <sighs> Jerks. Scan, scan. Jerks. God damn it. Yoink, yoink. Um, <laughs> yep, that's the way to fa uh, fast scan. Basically, not really look at the info because as soon as you do. Information is copied already, so it doesn't really matter. Right, there we go. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, God damn it! there's way too much stuff here. Uh, but all right, maybe that'll be a decent pay. Yeah, what, what are the odds, huh? 
What are the odds? That's garbage. Yep. Yep, there we go. There we go. Damn it, that's a belt cluster garbage. Okay, here we go. Alright. That solves that. Um pum 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 pum. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, yep. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more and I'll be done. Then just straight for the system that I marked. Uh, where are you? There we are. Um, yeah, most of these star, uh, not stars, but uh, celestial objects are really low paying. And again, I don't remember which ones existed on where on the spectrum there, so I'm just, uh, yep, there we go, and off I go. Pooh, okay. Let's see, how far am I? Two jumps. Probably I won't be able to hand in this day the damn it. Screw it. Yeah, probably not gonna be able to hand in this day, so that sucks. Ah, eh, what you gonna do? There we go. Frameshift drive charging. And Yoink we go. Let's see. Uh ta -ta -ta -ta, the most paying earth-like worlds, then water worlds, then ammonia, then metal rich, and then high metal ones. Yeah, you're right. Um Yeah. That should be correct. Although I think water worlds are about the same price as ammonia, though. Wasn't they? Ah! There's a big old chart. It's information that I don't keep in my brain. Right. I hate this, I hate. Ah, there we go. No, no, I'm not traveling a hundred light seconds that no. No, 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 nope, nope, nope. No, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Right? Next next system that has a lot of uh, population. Here we go. Crap, I don't have fuel. Alright, give me a moment, I'm gonna go and fuel. I'm not traveling that far. It's gonna be faster to fuel, jump, be there. I'm also kind of guessing that where I'm going is going to be closer. Mm. Well, we'll see about that. Also about fueling. It's interesting that uh, it doesn't matter what rotation you are in. If you're looking towards the star, 
you're actually consuming, or rather, you are potentially getting less fuel. Uh, so, being parallel-ish to the star, kind of, uh, or at least the surface, is the best way to scoop. Morning. Yeah, 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 my ship's fine. Everything's fine. No, everything's fine. <laughs> Do you smell ba bacon? <laughs> Well, neat. Let's see. Can I jump there now? Yep, I can jump there now. All right, let's go. Right, also, uh, how did I tell that I can jump to something? Um, specifically, the line is not striped. The striped lines are the ones that you don't have fuel for currently in your ship. The full lines are the ones that uh, show that you can jump somewhere. That goes with the uh, route planned as well as non-route planned ones. So there you go. That's another little bit, a tidbit of information that I've you know, mentioned multiple times in my videos and so on and so forth. But there you go. All right, all right. Everything's malfunctioning. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I get it. I'm not gonna explode, don't worry. It's fine. Yeah, the hull is sort of getting damaged, but it's fine. Everything's fine, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Let's see module damage currently. That's fine. Yeah. 40, 50 percent. Yeah, see, it works. It still works. It might malfunction once in a while, but it's fine. <laughs> All right, uh, about the module parts. Uh, when the module is below, if I remember correctly, 70 percent, the module may start uh, malfunctioning randomly. Um, some parts might not start, or when you try to start them, then they will malfunction, like FSD, for example. Other things will just simply randomly malfunction um, as you're using them. Basically, yeah. You shoot a gun, rather than shooting where you want, it will just not work, or shoot at a lower, um, uh, lower, lower uh, damage, or something like that, or in, uh, inaccurately. Uh, same with the thrusters and so on and so forth. So there you go. Um, Trying to keep your module health above 70 with, you know, tools and other uh, optional compartment machinery is a good idea. But not necessarily always available. But, yeah, you know, as long as it's uh, above zero, hell, even if it is below zero, you can always uh, quick repair to 1% through reboot repair. If any of your parts are not working, you you're stranded. Reboot and repair, it will always give you 1% of repaired uh, the, the, the module. All of them. It doesn't matter which one, except for Canopy. Canopy will not be repaired to any percent once it's broken. That's the only thing that does not get repaired. Uh, below, uh, below 80% problems could start. Right, 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 right. Uh, below... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, below, below, below. Uh, 80%, not 70%. Why was I thinking of 70? Yeah, well. Okay. Right, now... Yep, as I was thinking, there we go. We got the starport really close to the star, indeed. So, yep, all the big populated systems I've noticed. Uh, I don't think there's a single star system with a million population that doesn't have a big star port. Might be wrong on that, but basically it's a good bet that uh, something with a 10 million population within the uh, star system has a big starport. Uh, and big starport usually means that you have at least a couple of things. Repair, definitely. Uh, refueling, 
all of them have that um outfitting it has it but not necessarily all the good stuff but you know and and a couple of ships always uh the big starports usually have you know bigger uh, selection of stuff in them not necessarily the best ones but eh, it usually has bigger than the small ones small ones might not even have any basic stuff so yeah So, within about an hour, I finally am docking, and we'll see what the credit income is for the first hour. Alright. Jump out. Yep. Nah, too far. There we go. Never wasted my money on Odyssey. Yep, you're not wrong. I personally highly recommend against spending money on Odyssey. It does not offer enough of a value to be worth it. Uh, the on-foot uh, on foot combat is absolute trash. I made a whole fucking 40-minute uh, analysis about it. So, yeah, it, it, it really is bad. Uh, by any means and, and standards and... Well, examination possible. Um, the exobiology... Eh, it's really a non-gameplay. I'll release a video soonish about it. Uh, so, yeah, but, but yeah, it's... Nah. Everything else, like the planet's surfaces or... Uh, uh, or graphics... Also not worth it, I would say. So currently, when it comes to actual value offering, even at the half price, that is 20 euros or bucks, I say no. All right, 70. Good enough. All I need is a detailed surface scanner. Please tell me this starboard has it. Kind of need it. Oh boy, alright, so first things first. Uh, detailed surface scanner, please have it. Yes, alright, here we go. Detailed surface scanner number one. And now, what I need is Artemis uh, uh, suit. Ignore the one that I have on me right now. Right, uh, actually, in fact, I might as well just go for the default. There we go. Alright. Armstrong moment! Woo! I mean, the funny thing is, they even put in the black screen, uh, or uh, black fade-out, uh, with the sound that you're climbing out of something. It's just... Just so shit. So disappointing. Hell, even allowing players to walk around the bigger cockpits would have been at least some kind of nice gesture. But not even that's allowed. Uh, quality. And the frame rates drop harder than, well, than Frontier Developments dropped Odyssey. Ha! <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, but da ba da I need a spacesuit. So let me see what's in the stock. Uh, spacesuits. Yep, there we go. We got, uh, yeah, we got an Artemis suit, which costs 150. God damn it! Oh, I need 150. So, I still need... Damn it. Should have done more Road to Riches again. <laughs> ah, damn it. So, I need about 100 uh, credits. 100,000 credits for the Come suit. Fuck! Oh, this is not the best way to start. <laughs> okay, no, technically it is. Again, I've been to far too many starports uh, or st uh, star systems within uh, uh, the bubble, so I'm not really getting the road to riches experience that uh, a fresh account would be. So, oh gods. Okay, missions, quickly. Um, no, honestly, no, no, Odyssey mission, no, Odyssey missions suck. The on-foot on missions suck. I'm, I'm not doing that, no. Ugh, no. Damn it. Oh 
god. Probably should have gone... Oh, wait, no. Trappist. Trappist was the big uh, big payout uh, uh, system with, with a decent star. Or not the star, but uh, celestial object to scan. And you would get a bit... About a million from the Trappist um, in the road to riches. But I wouldn't because I already have scanned it. And uh, starting with a fresh account would have been easier. Crap. Okay, so what is left? Okay. Okay, this will do. Alright, so basically I need to go... How far? Ah, uh, crap. Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna keep on going upwards uh, in the galactic plane. Um, screw it. This will do. Right. Wolf something. Where was the wolf? Ah! Ah, I see. Okay, so how far is it? Uh, that should be distance about 12 light years. Okay, so 12 light years. So yeah, basically I just simply need to go upwards in the galactic plane a little bit. Um, in fact, you know what? While I'm here, might as well outfit the ship since that'll be 300 anyways. Um, so yeah, that's all I need to do. Um, it's not a lot. Yep, I got all that I need. And uh, 70, you will take 1,000. I can spend on... A better FSD. And there we go, we got something that I could use. Yeah, there we go, B-rated FSD. Yep, there we go. That makes a, a big difference immediately. And I still can spend 21,000. D-rated module. Impro improves a little bit of uh, the jump range. Uh, D-rated module. Yep, they're very cheap for something like this. So I can splurge a little bit. No D-rated. Uh, D-rated uh, modules, all of them are always the lightest, if you didn't know. So, there you go, D-rated, 5,000. Yeah, I still have the money. Yep, there we go. And power plant. Can I drop to one? No, I can't. Okay, D-rated. And I still have a little bit of credits left. And there we go. Now, my jump range is 19, million, uh, 19 light years. There we go. And uh, that... Allows me to quickly make almost one trip to... Um, let's... Yep, let's do the fastest. Let's do this. Map modes. Stars. There we go. And... Eh, not too far. I don't really need to go too far. Yep, one jump and I am there. Yep, that'll do. That'll do. Hopefully. Do I? Ah, damn it, I don't have the system data. Hey, we have a galactic uh, community, you know, that uh, shares the maps and there's a whole uh, universal cartographic thing. But oh no, we're not gonna pre present you with a system map because... Fuck you, you need to go to that starport yourself. Despite the fact that people have been living there in the game's universe... Let alone players have been there as well. That's one of the elite dangerous principles that I still don't fucking understand. It's really dumb, but no, well, whatever. There we go. Right, the ship is a bit more responsive now that I uh, upgraded a few parts of it. Funny thing is that E-rated part uh, that every ship comes with, by default, um, it's the cheapest one. Um, it also has the least amount of power and so on and so forth. Basically, you know, cheapest. There we go. Uh, however, the D-rated was the lightest. It has, of course, a little bit more extra power. You know, does better job, uh, usually. Uh, C-rated was... Let's see. C-rated was uh, just middle of the ground, I think. Uh, B-rated was the heaviest. Always the heaviest. Uh, but, uh, you know, also more power. And A-rated was uh, the most powerful, but... Oh, damn it. There was the whole chart that described the uh, uh, tiers. Um, A-rated was definitely the, the most... No, the best one, but uh, also consumed a lot of power. Uh, uh, Weight-wise, it was about in the middle as well. So, more or less, that's the differentiation between uh, A, B, C, D, E. Uh, tier modules. You don't need to know that. It usually is just, uh, you know, information that uh, you can always just look up as you're uh, outfitting anyways. You know, A-rate is always the best, so there you go. 
Unless you need a lightweight ship, then you go with a D-rate, and that's all you need to know. Nineteen million light years. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, let's see. Worst part about 4.0 uh, or Odyssey is that uh, fr uh, frames drop uh, in stations and and in VR. Yep. No, you're not wrong. Uh, frame rates oddly are. Uh, still a lot lower as soon as you go closer to the starport uh, in the horizons included. So that's That's the shitty part now that uh, legacy quote-unquote mode uh, Yeah, I would much rather just simply play with the legacy mode despite the fact that its character is now a different save from this character <sighs> But you know Developers Uh, th th uh, this is Diamex at, uh, uh, at his best, man. Uh, you taught me so much, uh, fucking much. You can always write just proper, but anyways, uh, in this game. Oh, I appreciate it. So, yeah. No, that, that, that's, that's cool. Um, E is the cheapest uh, and the crap uh, in every way. D is the lightweight. C is the quote-unquote budget version. Overall, okay. B is the heaviest uh, and sturdiest. Um, A is the best performance. Yeah, no, that's that's a perfect way of uh, describing it. Thank you. How do we make stars less bright? Uh, you can't. There are no mods in this game, sadly. So you can't do the third-party mod stuff. Um, I mean, there is the brightness setting somewhere in the options. Uh, that's that's one. Oh, and DJ Verbo, thank you for your... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, YouTube sticker there. Probably a squeak will happen sooner or later. That's the feature of the streams that I do. Um, I try to stream as much as possible and so on and so forth, but... Uh, oh, right. Well, I'm, you know, fucking about... There we go, that's a squeak. Um, um, I keep all my streams unlisted, so not to pollute uh, the normal videos, right? Um, so yeah, but I do keep a p uh, public playlist, so anyone can watch, you know, past uh, recordings and so on and so forth. Only specific few uh, streams I keep public, like this one is gonna be. Or is, when you're watching it in the future, future people. Um, so yeah. So there we go. But yeah, primarily I I go with uh, video creation. That's that's the first thing that you know allowed me to do this. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Um, for you, all of this is happening, including the pain I'm going through quite often. You know, fucking up and all that. So that's fun. <laughs> ah. I'm being very careful on the landings these days now. Oh, God. Now, really? Okay. Now we're going to hear a lot of squeaks because somebody was very generous on, the, on Twitch Twitch side. Uh, so, yeah, go go subscribe to or uh, follow on the Twitch side. Uh, I'm nearing 10,000 followers there as well. So, there you go. Right. Um, and a lot of squeaks because somebody was generous and uh, gifted a lot of subs. Thank, thank you. Thank you a lot. Um, especially the pain. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. We got that, uh, got all the money. I don't really need to... Yeah, I don't really need to outfit the ship. I mean, better frame ship, frame ship drive would be appreciated, but there we go. Oh, crap. No, no, no. Alright, so here's a tip. How to skip launching. If you accidentally... Pre I press the launch button. It will launch. The ship will launch. Problem is, in Odyssey... This trick doesn't work anymore. It will put me outside of the starport. No! Okay, good. So, right, uh, if you accidentally press launch, there is no skipping it. There is no cancelling it. There is a way to skip... Uh, there was, used to be a way to skip it. Let me show you. Uh, these days in Odyssey, it works the other way around. If you press launch, and you don't want to launch! Oh crap, 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 what do you do? You can't stop it. 
go to menu in old legacy mode, this worked. It would put you back into uh, into the hangar bay. But in Odyssey and in Horizons uh, 4.0, or no, basically the Horizons normal version, quote unquote, uh, it will put you in. Ah, uh, no! Okay. Okay, fair enough. It used to be in alpha version some time back that it would put you outside of the starport. But anyways, so it still works here. Good. That's the only way to cancel launching. So there, there you go. Another tip. All right. Off we go for um, spacesuit. So why do I need a spacesuit? A, you know, uh, the, the, the exploratory spacesuit. Well, the answer to that is simple. That is the best way to make money uh, without any ships. Uh, the other way, I see uh, we're asking number two. Hey, well, thank you for subscribing there already as well. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Now, where was I? All the squeaks are dist <laughs> distracting. Oh, uh, the generosity. Thank you, seriously. Um, ah, yes. I be caught unprepared. In Odyssey, yeah, it is better to get the suit. Yep, I do have money for it. And that's all you need. Exobiology does pay a lot. That's the only reason why I'm doing any Odyssey stuff in the first place. Odyssey actually has a better start. Because of this. And only because of this. So yeah, um, going exobiology is uh, a lot more profitable than Road to Riches. Uh, it's around 90 million an hour. Uh, I'll be releasing a video about how to do it and, you know, what uh, what's what. But I'll demonstrate it uh, quickly here. Uh, as well. So now that I have the suit, first things first, uh, manage loadouts. Let's make a new one. Uh, let's take the. Oh, the slow loading is amazing. Right, this is the suit that I picked up. Apply the suit. Uh, don't need any guns, but if you really want to. Uh, if you need to know, only use plasma. Sniper rifle is garbage. I mean, it works, but no. Shotgun is better. But in my opinion, the best uh, best FPS weapon is... Uh, where the fuck is it? God damn it, where is it? Well, anyways, the plasma pistol. The plasma pistol is the better one. Um, I mean, sure, sniper is useful as well, because, you know, one shot, or rather three shots, and it works. But all the other ones are garbage, like, genuinely. Shotgun works fine. It, it's fine. Uh, it's the second best one, but not the best one. Pistol is, in my uh, my opinion, far better. All right. Anyways, say loadout. Uh, penny, pennies. There we go. Save loadout. Good. <laughs> Use the loadouts, and that's all I need to do. Now, next thing to start doing uh, exobiology. There are a couple of tools that will help you uh, find stuff. Uh, let me just. Um, Open up Codex real quick. Uh, discoveries, for example, you are in this region. And what I'm going to be scanning are specific few types of plants. Uh, specifically, uh, let's see if I remember correctly. Was it these things? Yeah, it was these things that pay, pay decent amount of... Uh, uh, stuff and yeah you, know, you basically need to scan them in 300 meter radiuses um it was yeah it was these things that were also very uh, very very uh, well paying uh, fungoids no it was these things as well that paid really well so finding any of these would be really useful you can of course go through you know uh, codex it only shows a few places uh, it was the grass that paid well. It was the other type of grass that paid well. And uh, I think it was it. Uh, these weren't really that good. And these, I, yeah, also not re really that good. So yeah, basically you're just searching for about four to five types of, you know, things like these. Um, now, there are a couple of tools that will help you find them uh, in, in place. A uh, good example would be... 
Yeah, there we go. A good example would be the Spanch uh, tool. It's still in its infancy, so it needs a lot of help there. And the other one would be the tool that uh, uh, my fellow content creator, Down to Earth Astronomy, has made, uh, the so-called uh, Billionaire's Boulevard. Uh, not keen on the name, but regardless, there are a couple of, uh, you know, uh, systems of some planets and the system names where they, where you can find them where there are multiple of these types of grasses uh, on a single planet which makes uh, for a lot more efficient searching for um, you can use either which one um, this one probably will eventually be a better one because again there are plenty of uh, locations you can go to while down to earth astronomy it's a decent selection. There's plenty of money in it, but it's limited. So there's, there's, each one has their, you know, preferences. So there you go. So pick any of the star uh, for, uh, systems that you want to go to. I'm just going to pick whatever. Um, let's see. Yeah, screw it. Let's just go with this one. Um, yep. So there we go. There we go. That's why you need a little bit more jump range, just just to get there. And, uh, you know what? I do need fuel scoop. A better fuel scoop would be appreciated right about now. Uh, since I do have a little bit of extra credits left. Maxwell! Oh, thank you for your generosity there, really. If Frontier Developments uh, dropped Elite Dangerous, you got uh, a hold of the rights to develop the game and uh, hand star citizen small country size budget. You're not joking, that actually is true. Um, how would uh, you fix Elite uh, to make uh, make a game uh, that uh, could compare to other games like uh, Call of Duty or Elden Ring? Oh, there would be a... Right, so first things first, you need to ensure uh, sup Super Cruise is crap. Like, Super Cruise is one of the things that creates uh, big problems for Elite. Yeah, they... There we go. A jingle made by Tom Cook uh, after the Python uh, review I did with Spatula. So, thank you, Tom. Uh, he also provided music for the So, anyways, that alert happens when somebody is being extra generous. Uh, you know, 10 bucks and up and so on and so forth. Just so you know. Anyways. Uh, what was I talking? God damn it, people being generous. Oh, crap. What was I talking about? Oh my god, Bray! <laughs> oh fuck. Um a Super Cruise, right, right. How to fix the game, right? Uh Super Cruise is a big problem. Essentially, uh Super Cruise creates another way of or rather it creates an environment where the attacker has always the upper hand over anyone. Right? Uh attacker can interdict uh or start interdiction and Basically, there's no way to stop that attack except for the person who's being interdicted. So that create that is the environment that is not very uh, fair, in my opinion, and it also creates a create uh, creates other problems like, for example, traveling to faraway uh, stations, pr places, and so on and so forth. Essentially, is very slow. Uh, it 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 creates. Then, well, basically, Super Cruise is the reason why things in Elite Dangerous take so long. Why does it take so long to get to a, from starport to starport? Five minutes from starport to starport, at minimum. Because you need to travel in Super Cruise. No matter how close the starports are to the star, five minutes is minimum. You're gonna spend just traveling. While jumping from system to system only takes less than a minute or 60 seconds. So Super Cruise is a big problem when it comes to games flow. Uh, the, the next thing, of course, would be uh, engineering, throw the fuck it out, uh, rebalance it, then introduce it back, because it is genuinely a good idea, but really bad execution, unbalanced as fuck, um, and uh, plenty of other little things, for example, squadrons need to be just changed heavily, and so on, so again, it's, it's just horrible. I genuinely hate horror. Uh, will I crash the game? No? Usually it crashes. Uh, it, it's odd, but, you know, it 
against squadrons, basically they introduced this feature and just abandoned it immediately, like every other feature out there, except for maybe one or two of them. Uh, engineering being kind of the one, because, hey, it affects the game the most. Uh, but multi-crew, when was the last upgrade uh, up update to multi-crew? It's still broken! Power play! Um, what is it? The fleet carriers. Like, it's abandoned features, just one after another. Anyways, fuck that shit. Oh, crap. No! I wanted to upgrade my fuel scope before I leave. Uh, before I leave. So, there, there are basically every aspect of Elite Dangerous needs tweaking in order to make it both faster um, and then just more responsive as well as fair. Actually fair. And also, I would definitely delete uh, uh, private or solo. But in order to delete private and solo, uh, you need to establish a good uh, security system for players overall. So high security, low security, so on and so forth, to actually be secure places where ganking would be really hard or impossible, right? Unfortunately, thanks to Super Cruise, it's not possible. Again, we, we go back to, you know, parts of the game that are essentially intertwined that uh, create this sort of unfair uh, state. But there you go, yeah, that, um, it is what it is. Fuel scoops, um, let's see. No, there are no fuel scoops. Damn it. Okay, fuck it. This will do. This will do. Let's go. And of course, uh, such things as story missions or story quests would be another thing. Uh, the faction based uh, progression, uh, you know, the navies. Uh, faction based uh, navy progression would be another thing that uh, needed to be just simply made into something more fun than just another grind. And so on and so forth. There's just so much. It genuinely is. There. Things are there, but all of them need either tweaking or heavy redesign. But you know, that's just me. Oh, Darius as well. Well, thank you. Seriously, appreciate it. Um... Um, I play Odyssey on GT6 uh, 650M, so that's a laptop. Yeah, that's a laptop um, graphics card, right? Oh, I mean, it, that's the beauty kind of of Elite, at least before Odyssey introduced. You could play it on a relatively old hardware. Um, you know, dating back even before 2014 when it was released. Uh, so, yeah, it's not the most optimized game, but overall it's just not the most demanding game. Thank you! There we go. Yeah, those alerts are delayed, so... Usually spooks me, but... There we go, thank you. Um, but yeah... Um, one of the things about Elite Dangerous is that it has absolutely super solid core. Like, the core technology when it comes to uh, button mapping, UI, uh, to most part, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and the technical side of uh, basically the, the frame generation, if you will, uh, is uh, genuinely good. Genuinely good. It's not great. It's not id tech, uh, you know, id software good, uh, but it is solid, especially the controller uh, mapping, just overall controller support. Um, that is one of the things that still carries over from 2014, uh, that truly makes Elite Dangerous, you know, uh, into something, something pretty good. Ah, damn it, I can't jump there. Insufficient fuel, all right, all right, here we go. Here we wait. So, it's been an hour and 20 minutes, uh, for an hour and 30 minutes, and uh, I've gotten 
or rather I'm in the position where I can start grinding credits a lot and this is gonna be where the game starts picking up heavily and quickly um, uh, Black Ninja? I guess? Hopefully that... Well, anyways, uh, uh, yay, our favorite uh, Latvian uh, fuckhead. I love my community. <laughs> Hello to you as well, fella. Thank you for your generous contribution as well, and... All right, enough burning my own bacon. It's time to go. Uh, let's see. Also, I'm cooking. Well, I didn't notice. <laughs> Smells wonderful. Right, seven more jumps. Yeah, the fuel scoop is gonna be a bastard. And the fuel tanks themselves also not great. Uh, Sidewinders sadly can only make about two, well, maybe three jumps per fuel tank. So yeah, that's that's gonna be a bit of a problem. So yeah, again, maybe I should have picked up um, a hauler instead. Oh wow, this is a glitch. And uh, yeah, technically I had enough credits for uh, for 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 a hauler, but you know, fuck it. Sidewinder it is, just to showcase that you can do it in even this one. Don't need a new ship for anything. Yeah, might as well fuel. Rather glance over. And good enough. There we go. Uh, Jesus, I forgot how bad the rank grind is. <sighs> yeah. It is pretty bad. It is pretty bad. Uh, what's the roadmap for the other planet types? Uh, the answer to that is none. I I highly doubt that there is. Of course, we'll see whether or not uh, Frontier actually wants to support Elite Dangerous uh, further than this year. But yeah, this might be the last year we actually see any sort of content coming out. Maybe next year, but I mean, what else is there to come out uh, after the Targoid War? Uh, has the oh wait no. They still haven't developed, uh, or rather released, a couple of uh, uh, cloud-resistant technologies. Uh, they are currently doing a, a community goal for uh, additional AX weapon support, internal... <sighs> Anyways, I, again, for people watching this, none of that matters, really. None of that matters. What's the gut feeling for Elite Dangerous uh, Future, Yamex? Um, well, it's uh, this year Elite Dangerous celebrates nine years. Yeah. There you go. That, that, yeah. That's all I got to say. Might as well uh, fuel scoop here while I can. Uh, let's see. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. One, two. Yeah, okay. Jump, jump, fuel, jump, jump. Okay. Gotcha. Easy enough. Right. Uh, da -da -da. Do I think they will release a new version? Now, Elite Dangerous, or whatever comes after Elite Dangerous, um, 
I've talked about this in the past, uh, but basically Elite Dangerous came out in a very peculiar time uh, when the news for space sims actually started resuming because of Star Citizen. Like it or not, the resurgence for space sims as a subgenre of uh, video games, uh, or, or, well, games overall, right? Um, started resurging spe specifically because of uh, Star Citizen. Of course, Elite Dangerous came in along with it, but, you know, news started floating up uh, a little bit earlier than that, and of course, uh, Elite Dangerous, or specifically Braben's uh, Frontier, uh, saw that, hey, we have this IP, right, uh, for Elite from back in 80s, uh, or, well, technically 2000s if you count the whatever came afterwards. Anyways. Um... Uh, Right, uh, they thought, well, all right, let's make a game. Our own first game after years and years of being a work-for-hire company. And uh, it was a correct time to do so, because uh, the mutual synergy between uh, Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous created this genuine uh, base... Uh, uh, not base... Uh, uh, Genuine foundation for a proper resurgence of space sims. Uh, of course, uh, No Man's Sky. Uh, two, uh, yeah, two years. Uh, two years later, after their own, uh, after Elite's release, uh, was uh, another one that you know kind of uh, brought masses to the space sim sort of idea. Um, X4. Two years after that, also was another one. So, overall. Right now, when it comes to space sims, the genre is stagnant. There's really nothing nothing coming out. Um, the genre will remain stagnant until St uh, Squadron 42 releases. And that, who the fuck knows when that happens, right? It's not going to be this year, it's not going to be next year. Um, it's probably not going to be the year after that. So, yeah, when it comes to uh, Squadron 42, which should be coming out before Star Citizens, uh, you know, the multiplayer part. Yeah, um, I'm not seeing another resurgence coming uh, or coming and going because the interest overall in the subgenre is dwindling because nothing new is coming out and the existing, uh, you know, giants, Elite Dangerous, is stagnant as hell and after Odyssey's release, it's just... It's in a bad place, like really bad place. Recently, they've been doing some correct things in form of, you know, Targoid narrative and so on and so forth, but that's a little too, li uh, too little too late, I would say. Uh, yes, it's good, right? Or even, you know, promising, but it's not really that much uh, interest sort of generating. Uh, no Man's Sky is doing its own thing. It basically is like Nintendo in its own sort of small category. Um, so yeah, and uh, and Star Citizen, Star, Star Citizen also is stagnating because they are trying to develop the Squadron 42 and the uh, multiplayer version is just barely getting any, any attention from the developers, it seems, uh, or the development teams and so on and so forth. There's a lot to say, I suppose. X4, it's not, not great. Like, it really is not that good to be appealing to general masses. Elite is. Elite is genuinely pick up and, well, not pick up and play, but the Elite is a easy to understand-ish game, right? Star Citizen also is easy to understand game, uh, or a project for one, sorry. Slip there. Uh, X4, sadly, it's just too clunky to be, you know, casual friendly. And that's what you kind of need. And that's not a bad thing to be casual friendly. Good UI, X4. Mm. But anyways. You know, that's my take. Of course, uh, uh, as I said, No Man's Sky is the outlier of this. Uh, it is hyper casual. And that kind of brings it to the other end. When it's not depthful enough on the mechanics or the world to really be sort of a contribution to space sims as a genre. Though it is keeping an interest, it's a sort of a gateway to space sims, and you have to respect that. Absolutely. So there you go. Um, 
what I could say is space sims sadly currently are stagnant. I mean, it's been 10 years since the resurgence, and that kind of, you know, makes sense, but still kind of sad, isn't it? Is it possible to engineer advanced docking? Nope. There is no engineering upgrades for it. I mean, what what would you engineer? <laughs> what would you put on it? I mean, sure, except for the module protection uh, against damage, maybe. But otherwise, there's really nothing you could really improve with it. Uh, unless, of course, developers decide, hey, uh, we could put on, I don't know, uh, some new functionality on it. But, yeah, let's be frank, that's a bit too much of an effort. Better ways to crash. Hey! <laughs> Faster docking. Yeah. That would result mo mostly in crashing because the current uh, docking is decent enough to do it correctly. The docking itself does it within the speed limits so that you, even if you bump into something, you don't get fines because you, you are above the speed limit. That's why docking is so slow. It obeys the 100 meters a second uh, speed limit uh, before, you know, before you get the uh, fines if you, you know, uh, bump into something. Right. Now that I'm in the system, uh, let's see, A3. That would be this planet where all the scannable things should be uh, findable. So, what you do now... Oh god, it, it took me quite some time to get to this fucking place, but there you go. Now I can start scanning, and uh, yeah, I'll get uh, some decent money once I hand in the data for it. And I'm just gonna scan this planet and one more. And then I'll be ready to start doing the more uh, uh, realistic money generation, I guess. Kind of. Well, I'll showcase. First things first, this planet. And uh, I've arrived here after an hour and 40 minutes. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, pretty decent. I could have done it within a half an hour if I actually had a fresh account. <sighs> kind of a problem, but never mind that. Okay. How about EVE Online? Well, EVE Online is not a space sim. EVE Online is MMORPG kind of... Well, MMORPG just, uh, it's massively multiplayer online roleplay game, right? Anything can be roleplay game. Elite Dangerous is technically counting itself as a massively multiplayer online uh, roleplay game, by the way. In press material, if you didn't know. Yes, yes it is. Uh, but uh, EVE is different beast. It, it's a space game. But it's not a space sim. That's, that's kind of the interesting sort of... Uh, differentiation, if you will. Alright. Doesn't matter if you scan it properly or not. Should be fine. Alright, so, what I'm searching for is Clipeyu something? Uh, not fungi, ocellus. Okay, actually, hold on. So, I'm not searching... Hold on, I'm not searching for... So I'm not searching for that stuff, but I might as well scan it if I have the chance. Right, so what I could, so what do you do with uh, exobiology like this? You got the planet, and you have the information about it. You go through all the, you know, things found on it, and you now need to land on the hot zones. As you skip through, you know, uh, these things, you can see where everything is placed, and you should probably choose the one that is the least present or at least findable most rare if you will and uh, go with that so ocellus is gonna be the one that i'm going for and hope you know kind of aim it to be all three four five in single place or single region you're not gonna find all of them of course uh not necessarily that you find all of them and so, and so forth it's up to you to find however many of these you know high paying plants you want but, you know, it's best to aim for multitude. 
uh, multiple of them. So I'm just gonna land on uh, something that is in the bright side of the planets. Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna go a bit higher. Um, there we go. Just gonna aim on this blue patch. Right, as you're approaching the drop zone, you should be going less than 10 kilometers in a second. Otherwise, it's emergency drop-off and you're just going to crash into a planet. Quote, unquote. So that's kind of an annoyance, but keep an eye on speed. Better to, to go slower than faster. But there you go. All right. Not a lot of space for that stuff. Ah. But alright. Ah, damn it, there's really not a lot of space. Shit. Kinda expected there to be a bit more ground, but... Alright, well... I'll see what I can, fi I can find. Get to the planet surface and start searching for the plants essentially eventually you're gonna you know you're gonna recognize the shapes and, and so on and so forth so for now just those are fungoid crabs they don't pay nearly as enough as you like uh, more fungoid crap more fungoid crap 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 and doing this in a ship is just fine, you don't need the SRV. I personally prefer not going with it. It is, you know, slightly faster to do without, in my opinion. After testing, I can tell you that much. Hmm. So what I was searching for was a Celos or something? So I don't remember the name, but you know. Some space shrooms. And I see one, I think. And the small ship is useful. Because it allows you to... Oh, god damn it. Now where to... Can I land? Alright, let's see. Can I land? Oh, this sucks. Okay, can I land? Ah, oh, no, I did. Okay, there were a couple of places. Hold on. Yeah, this is gonna be a bitch. Ah! Oh. Yeah, 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 it doesn't matter. As long as I don't explode, it's fine. Sakes. Ah, there we go. Yeah. God damn it. Alright. Mm, good enough. Disembark. So, uh, the region. Well, basically, bet for about 300 meter uh, zone. Of course, you can walk that with your legs. Uh, you know, and I'm gonna scan that one. And it's not going to be the fastest way of going, but it should be enough. So that I could go for the other one somewhere there, maybe. No, we'll see. Yeah, SRV for this sort of ground, not great. Do do do. Auto landing. Eh, that would be option. Uh, yeah, that would be an option as well. Yeah. But though not always it you can find a, or rather it will find a good place to land. So that's kind of a problem. All right. And let's see. So I got one out of three. Now I need to find two other ones, and um, I could scale these this area, but. Uh, I'm gonna try and go maybe there. Yeah, probably gonna go in the ship. Probably should go in the ship. It's gonna be faster. Maybe maybe I can scan that one. Hopefully that's 300 meters away. Highly doubt it, but we'll see. Alright then. Will that accept it? It's blue. Uh, it's not gonna accept it. Yeah, it's not gonna accept Yeah, it's not. A ah! All right. There had to be another one nearby. Is there 
seriously? No. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go there. That should be about 300 meters away. I think. Nope. We'll see. And uh, that is the other one. Wait, no, hold on. That's not the other one that I need. Yeah, no, that's not the one that I need. Alright, screw it. Bump. Alright. Just land literally anywhere. No. No. Come on. Find me a decent... Damn it. Wait, what? What the hell happened there? Hey? Okay. Um... Shit! Okay, um, uh, not the great play. Oh, yep, 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 yep. There we go. Good enough. Huzzah! Alright. And it's. Oh, it's blue again! Okay, screw it. I'm gonna fly away then. Alright, screw it. I'm just gonna go down then. Now. Eeny meeny, where are you? Any more of those? Damn it, there's, there's the stuff that I might need next, but... Uh, the problem with exobiology is that you can't scan multiple plants. You need to scan one, make sure you finish scanning one, and then... Uh, that is, fully scan it, and then you can scan the next one. Otherwise, it will delete the progress you had on the previous one. Yay! Kill me. Alright, I think that's it. Mm, yep, that's it. Okay, now, now to land. Yeah, good enough. Yep, there we go. Align it and down. Pull. Okay. Yeah, that's not the stuff that I need afterwards. Damn it. Mm hmm, that's blue. I mean, not blue. That's two out of three, and now I need just one more, and then I can scan the next plant. <laughs> okay. That's a bit too close. Yeah, I'm just gonna go a little bit further here. That, that should be far enough. Now, come on, Odyssey, spawn in my, 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 my space shrooms. Yamex needs some space shrooms, damn it. Aha, here we go. He got some. Neat. Now, how to land, or where to land. Uh, it's good enough, kind of. Yeah, probably should be more careful with this stupid ground. Aha, uh -huh. no. Yep. Mm. Wait, what? What was that? Ah, I see. What is this? Aha! Yeah, the the smaller ship, the better. And Sidewinder is as small as it gets. Uh, Holler is about the same size. And there we go. That's one plant down. Sadly, I'm not seeing any other plants around that I need. Okay. That kind of is a problem, but I'm going to travel and see. So, uh, there should be some sort of a plan, uh, 
uh, grass on this planet and another thing. It's great. Lift off. No, 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 ho, 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 ho. Oh, here we go. Get grass. Yep, that's what I need. That's what Yamix wants. Some grass. Let's touch. God damn it. Let's touch some grass, baby. Alright. And basically, I need to find three of these, some more places. About 300 meters away, so that means, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of uh, travel, but uh, they should be spawning on the sort of a flat-ish ground that I am now at. That's not 300, next patch, and I'm, yep, there we go. Good enough. Oh boy, that's a lot. Fuck! God damn it, I keep killing myself. Well, remember, if you don't don't hand in your stuff before you die, or when you die, all the data is lost. So, shields probably would be a good idea. Not necessary if you want to be living dangerously like Yamix. But I, I, yeah, if you have the time, even the smaller shields probably would be useful. All right. And the last piece of grass. And that's good enough. Now, grass, 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 any grass around. Yep, there we go. Come on. That's two out of three. Right. The fungi there ain't gonna be netting a lot of credits. So I'm gonna go above the rocks there. Maybe I'm gonna find something that I need. Come on. Lift off. I technically could quit here and uh, go hand in. It would net me about 20 million, give or take. But that ain't gonna buy me a python. So... Might as well scan a few more things here and then move on to the next planet. Finish that one. And then we can do some pythoning. Yes, the good old python. So yeah, within about three hours, I should be done. Every planet takes about an half an hour, roughly speaking, depending on, you know, your own uh, perception of, you know, what's around you as well as uh, luck. To a certain degree, you know, are in Jesus and so on and so forth. You know what? Just gonna. There we go. So nice to have a boost. Alright, so. Uh, just gonna go here. More grass. More grass. More grass. Alright, let's stop and let it load in. Because the faster you're going, sadly, the game doesn't have the time to generate stuff ahead of you. Uh, that kind of sucks, but uh, there we go. So, going too fast, not a great idea. If you're specifically trying to find something. God damn it, where are they? Alright, fuck it. Let's see. Still got the amoeba, fungi, blah, 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 whatever on the ground. Come on. More grass, more grass. 
Well, the alternative is really to go in the in the space, um, rather the orbit, and uh, hope to find something from there. And that's another option. Or skip to the next planet. It's not necessary for you to, you know, just stick around and scan too much. It takes about, you know, give or take five to ten minutes to get to a planet, land on it, quickly scan, relatively speaking. Yeah, that's about a half an hour for one to, uh, for two to three scanned objects, so it's not too much. Alright, let's see. No, just grass. God damn it, okay. Seriously? Seriously? Alright, fuck it. Off we go to the orbit. I quickly need to consult, consult the codex. Uh, what the hell did I even scan in the first place? Don't remember the names, nor do I need to. I do remember that I did scan... Da, 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 da. I need to scan some of these and some of these, but I didn't find any of... Yeah, I didn't find any of these types, so that's what I'm looking for. Uh, these could be also... Although, actually, no, these are not profitable. Though I did find these, so never, never mind. Yeah, I, I scanned one of these. So basically what I'm searching for now is... Da, 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 yeah, these. Okay. Right. And in that case, you go in orbit. Uh, do some ground combat zones. Hi. No, it's bad. Like that, that genuinely... First of all, the frame rate is horrible. The gameplay is horrible. The overall experience is horrible and the pay is mediocre you're better off going and doing a road to riches a more fulfilling more interesting way of doing things in my opinion but you know that's just me anyways come on right uh ta -ta -ta, no there we go oh come on i was there Shit. all right fine above the drop zone that's good. Now just aim for any of the blue parts and hope for the best, basically. Fuck it. The bigger, the better, I guess. Full speed ahead and let's go. Pooh, come on. So yeah, I did scan two plants. Every plant is about 10 million. Well, roughly speaking. Some of them are 15 million, others are 19, but you know... Roughly 10 million, right? On the lowest amount. So, three of them, 30 million. The Python costs about 50, no, 60 plus upgrades. It's gonna be about 70. Let's call it a 80 million. So, I'm just gonna do this one. Next planet. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to do another one then. Or maybe? Hold on. Gonna land real quick. I'm gonna open up Coriolis to figure out how much money do I actually need. Um, now, where is the plant? Eh? Come on. Ah, ta, 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 ta. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you. I saw you right there. Somewhere. God damn it, where were you? Ah, fine. Just gonna go forward then. Yep, ah, there it is. At least this is a relatively safe and flat ground. Disembark. Scan. Yep, there we go. Yeah, this is what I was searching for. Ta da ta ta da ta. Come on. Yep, there we go. Next. 
Just go a little bit further. Boost, land, boost, land. Damn it! Right, now, uh, what I need is this. Uh, Coriolis. Uh, I need a python. Uh, strip it. By the way, yeah, this is another wonderful outfitting tool that you can use. Let's see, where's the price? Da -da 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 -da. Where was the price? Defense, power and costs. There we go. Uh, 56 million. Okay, that's selling. Optional compartments is going to be uh, business class and economy class. Yeah, you, you, you pretty much know what I'm doing. That's 57 million. Uh, maximum jump range, 62. Yeah, let's let's put it at a D rated, lower D rated. Don't need speed. Uh, D rated, D rated, D rated. Uh, Sixty one million. Okay, yeah. So it's not seventy. Good. 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 All right. Perfect. But yeah, if uh, I'll I'll be posting the Coriolis link down below. It's a wonderful tool that allows you to just play around with stats and ships and so on and so forth without, you know, too much of a, a graphical thing with a lot of a lot of useful information. You don't need to understand all of it. It's just useful, wonderful stuff. Uh, so yeah, it, as you can see, it helped out me plan uh, the, the necessary amount of credits that I need. Okay. That's number two. And one more. Yeah, this is how quickly you can scan three things when it's not garbage. Garbage, gar garbage geometry and relief and a lot of stuff like that. Alright, that's the last one. Right, next planet. Let's see, the next planet, screw it, nearby. Um... Tax. Mm. Yeah, this is why you need a little bit more jump range than, you know, what the stock ship has. And even Sidewinder with 20 light year jump. Ugh, you can feel it. You can feel a little bit of its problems. But hey, you know. Now, can I jump to... So I'm gonna have to go in Super Cruise first. Uh, have they fixed the uh, planet bases yet, or is it still a lag box? Uh, somewhere in between. Somewhere in between. And I love the fact that you can just turn around, turn your head. Oh, it's great. The little things. Got that? No! Okay, no, it's it's just a failed glide. Okay, that that's not crashing into a planet. That's good. So the timer is not increased. Good enough. Now I can jump straight straight in. Looks like you're gonna lose the data. Yeah, well, just watch me. Just watch me. Trust me, I'll, I'll, I'll survive. Hey, hey, hey. I will survive. Uh, yep, da 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 da. Yeah, 
Yeah, I could have gone with a better fuel scoop. Uh. But yeah, this is definitely far faster credit grind than with uh, the, 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 the road to riches. Again, um, to put it in perspective, with this sort of ship and, you know, uh, a slow fueling, low jump range, yeah, you're gonna... It's gonna take a little bit more time. Uh, but, uh, hey, I would say 50 million an hour is possible. You know, maybe more. Yeah, okay, fine. I need to get a little bit further from the planet, uh, star, so that I don't quite burn fully. The bacon does not need to be cooked quite thoroughly enough like that. That's fine. Right. Um, no, I don't need that. Uh, Loopy, right, so I love your videos, uh, very helpful. Uh, what engineers uh, would you do after Felicity, uh, Felicity FSD? Um, if you go and watch my best to worst uh, video series about engineering, yes, they're not exactly the most fun videos to watch because they're very specific and niche, but they basically tell you which un engineer upgrades are, you know, useful and which are not, and by those you can basically extrapolate which engineers specifically to go after or upgrade i think i've made even a video on uh, the the way to engineer your ships as well somewhere down the line so yeah go check those out right three jumps oh great i can't So let's see, I scanned three plants, so I got at least three, uh, 30, uh, 30 million. So all I need is three more plants. Yeah, I need at least three more plants and I'll be golden for a python and good stuff. Uh, so basically, after, you know, while I'm, while I'm traveling, I might as well do another thing. Um, EDDB, uh, I... I don't need attractions, I need stations. What I need to find is where to go and buy. Right, so this is where I will be. What I need is... Uh, come on. Python. Hold on. Let's do that. Uh, I will need a 5A frameshift drive. I will need... Uh, I will need business. Let's see. No. Yeah. Business. Business. Yep. And uh, 3D business. Uh, economy. Yep. Let's. Uh, Fuel scoop a little bit. No, I can't fuel scoop this one. Fuck. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, e E. No, wait. What? Business, business, business. Oh, okay. Yeah, correct. Uh, in that case, I will need. Yeah, I could use a couple of D-rated modules as well. Uh, what was it? Power plant. Or the power plant. Uh, technically, I don't need any boost, so I could go with uh, 1D. Yep. 1D. Power distributor. Um, that should probably sort out a couple of stations already. Right, so that's 70 light years away. Uh, that's gonna be a jump, but yeah, alright. So that's, that's where I could find uh, the station that sells both the Python 
uh, and the parts I need to outfit it. So that's basically what what I was doing right there. Uh, you can select multiple, you know, uh, items within uh, EDDB, and hopefully, when you arrive there, uh, unlike the last time, these parts will be there. The ship should be uh, should be there. Um, ba -da -ba -da -da. Yep, 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 yep. Python is there. Outfitting. Um, bum 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 ba dum ba dum bum. Uh huh. Frame shift drive, frame shift, frame shift, frame. Yep, 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 yep. The most important part is the frame shift drive. Uh, all the other parts are just extras. So yeah, that's how you use the third-party tools uh, for those that you know are perhaps new to Elite Dangerous or uh, you know, the, you know, are fresh. So yeah, this is basically a sort of a uh, beginner's guide that I'm trying to uh, create here live. That I will be publishing, you know, publicly and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah. Uh, a real world sort of an example of uh, how quickly you can go from a fresh, fresh account to a Python capable doing Robigo. And the Robigo, for those that don't know, is uh, another way of making a lot of money very quickly, uh, far quicker than this, and uh, with less headaches, for sure. It's more consistent, it also gives more credits, so, yeah, I might as well just wait until I'm full with, uh, yeah, fuel, and then, and then go. Right, next is... Uh, which of the planets? Uh, B5A, you say? Uh, yeah, alright. Um, that would be B5A. Uh, yeah, 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 I don't particularly care, but alright, fine, fine, fine. Come on. Alright, that's good enough. Uh, let's see. The way you tell stars, so primary star is at the top, that's A star, that's a B star. Even though you don't see, you know, they're not explored, you can already, already tell. The uh, celestial objects between are A, B. Uh, or between them, you know, com combining uh, both stars and, you know, uh, Celestial objects next to them are uh, dependent on the star. So that's A1, A2, A3, A3C, A3A, uh, A3, uh, A4, A5, blah, 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 blah. And that's a B1, B2, B3, blah, blah, blah. Right, so this was B5A. There we go. And that's the one. Please don't tell me it's far away. Oh. How far? Oh, three of uh, two thousand light seconds away. That's good. That's good. That's not too far. Yep, two thousand, two thousand. Good. Here we go. And on this fucking thing is got uh, da, da. Yeah, two types of grass and bulbous things. Uh, is this the start with or without Odyssey? This is with Odyssey, yes. Without Odyssey, what I would normally do is road to riches until I get to uh, an Asp Explorer or a Python, uh, dependent on, you know, 
how I would feel, but mostly it would be Asp Explorer because at that point you can do Rubigo, and with the Rubigo you can accelerate your uh, credit income quite uh, tremendously. So yeah, and then get the Python if need be, and then just go and do that. So there you go. So there you go. Uh, favorite thing to do in Elite Dangerous right now? Um, yeah, no, Targoid fighting is pretty challenging. I would say Targoid fighting is, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one specifically. Not the scout fighting is not fun. I don't know, I don't like it. Um, but, uh, but no, yeah, the Interceptor fighting, because it is challenging, I would say. So, PvP has always been, you know, different and so on and so forth. But you need a lot of engineering for PvP. Oh, God, it's insane. So, yeah, and also, it's usually unfair, too, so. I mean, exploring is always pretty interesting. If you, you know, visit some really pretty scenery, yeah, it, it genuinely can be far better, uh, oftentimes. It depends on your preference. Or for cathartic uh, playthrough, I, or uh, playing, I guess. Uh, simple uh, simple trading is, wor uh, is worth trying out. Yeah. Alright, another planet. And... Nah, that's gonna be good enough. Oh, no. all right. So, crap. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, all right. Here we go. Right. Uh, no, I don't need this. I need the probulator nine thousand. Right. So bacterium. No. Catodia was the one that I needed. Yes, that's the one. So that's everywhere. Don't need to worry about it. Uh, yes, I need that. No, I don't need that. No, I don't need that. No, I don't need that. Yes, I need that. And uh, yes, I need that. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna go with this. Gotcha. And luckily I think this area was good enough. So two types of grass. I'm just gonna aim for this. Drop zone. There we go. Shit. Should be able to find something there. Keep it below the maximum drop. And you are fine. And dandy. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, 20 kilometers from the ground. Fuck it. It's good enough. I can travel there. Oh, that's gonna be a bitch, but... Alright, here we go. Come on. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Twelve kilometers from the surface. Ten... Eight. Okay, five kilometers, that's good enough. Right, now, let's search for some grass, huh? And other things, or whatever comes first, basically. Apparently, the grass here was the least amount, or the, 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 the least common, specifically. Okay, grass, grass, grass. Where are you? I see some fungoid crap. Some more of it. And I saw what I needed to scam. But whatever. Come on, grass. I think. Yep, I need to scan these. Fuck it. Fuck it. First come, first serve, basically. Come on. 
on landing gear. There we go. Yeah, good enough. I'm not yet exploding. Don't worry about me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Are you done? All right. There we go. Uh, Katodi, blah, blah, blah. Right, next. Come on, lift off. 300 meters. And scan again. Yep, I see another one already. I think that's gonna be good enough. Oh, come on. Uh, hull integrity compromise means landing successful. Yes! Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Sounds about right. Yep, I can scan this. Don't even need to guess it. And that's the beauty about using the ship instead of an SRV. You don't need to guess. You just go and pff, done. Uh, most of the time, lifting off and just traveling for a second literally is just 300 meters. Um, that most of the furthest requiring segments need. As a distance width. There we go. That's another 300 meters, I think. I'm guessing, but eh, sounds about right. Come on. Hold on. Is that what I need or is that not? Yep, that. Yep, that it is. That it is. Okay. And there's grass as well. Sweet. That's fine. Still in a winder. Oh, trust me. Trust me. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be very profitable. Or at least profitable enough. Da da, three done. All right, next grass. There we go. Chunks next. Odyssey content for once profitable. Um, it's profitable for starting out because again this gathering exobiology it's 90 million an hour after my testing it doesn't beat robigo so it, it's good for literally just starting out it really is um uh, but after that it's more annoying i personally would rather go do robigo um Road to riches, maybe, I don't know. Or trading, hell. Where is the grass? Damn it. Aha! God damn it, that's not the grass I needed. Um, shit, um, hold on, is that the grass piece? Please tell me that's the grass piece I need. Looks like, damn it, that's not the grass piece. Fuck. Um, shit. All right, fine, I guess I'm gonna have to go back to the ship and travel some more. Fuck. Yeah, the problem is, unlike the other type of grass, it just does not grow in big patches. And that's kind of a problem. Yeah, scanned you already. Is that a piece of grass? No, that's a different thing. Uh, nope. Nope. Come on. That's not piece of grass. God damn it. Come on, RNGesus. Don't be like this. 
Hopefully I haven't strayed too far away from where I landed. Because boy oh boy, if I'm outside the range, it would be a massive inconvenience. God damn it, where is the piece of grass that I need? Fucking hell. Also no, also no. Right, I, I got to take a quick, 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 quick little break. Uh, I'm gonna be back in a minute or so. Okay, we're back. All right, next. Bulgako, uh, thank you for that little generous bit there. Really appreciate it. Oh, crap. Oh, come on, where's the grass? Grr. Is that the grass? Yes, that's the grass. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Fucking hell. God damn! <laughs> literally as I, <laughs> literally as I collided with the ground. Perfect timing. Perfect timing there. Um. Now where was it? Damn it! It was in front of the ship. Never been able to catch the stream. Well, you're gonna be able to watch this as a public stream. I specifically try to make this as a uh, as fast as possible sort of a guide uh, that I could publish as a video. It's gonna be about three hours, I know. But hey, it's a real world example of how you get quickly uh, credits and get up to the level where you can grind just like everyone else the credits the fastest possible way Or at least the most consistent fastest possible way uh, That is Robigo And from then on get any ship you want in the game and any other fu fucking thing out there. So yeah, it's awesome uh, Extreme cheese awesome name. Oh <laughs> Thank you seriously. I appreciate it now I'm just searching for some more grass I'm just searching for all the grass. And sometimes maybe an ass. Ain't finding any ass, though. Ah, there we go, another squeak. Alright, let's try here. Seems that that grass is growing in a kind of ravines. Well, there you go. That's, uh. No, that's not it. Damn it. But that is. Or, or is it? God damn it, that's not. Fuck. Uh, that's not either. Oh, come on, where is the grass that I need? No. 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 Hold on. Um. Nah. 
Nah. Nah. For the love of gods, come on. Yep. That is grass. Yeah, man. It's so hard to find when it's, uh, uh, you know, not like the other type of grass, which spawns constantly. Come on. Deploy. There you are. Okay. So, I've scanned one already. So, four plants scanned. This is going to be fifth. So, I could risk it and go and, you know, hand in the data. Uh, which would be about 50 million, but that's not going to be enough to buy a python. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm, you know, taking in account that about average. Every plant is 10 million. Technically, they are more, but I'm not banking on it. So, we'll see in the end how much actually I get. So, now, there are two more plants that I haven't seen uh, that I need to. There's the other type of grass. And another type of... Uh, hold on. Uh, what was it? Uh, ah! Gotcha. Right, so I'm just gonna go forward and let's see. I was on the border between two types of uh, areas and uh, I should be finding some of them soon. Yep, yep, new type of thing is coming in. Okay, here we go. Uh, we might start seeing something new. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yep, yep, that's exactly what I was looking for. And the other type of grass as well, sweet. So this is why you try to position yourself when you're landing, you know, between... Or at least as in an area where most types of uh, you know, biomes reside. I know, it's, it's, it doesn't matter, but it's just efficiency. Again, you can go manually into space uh, and uh, search. Yummy, 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 He's a yummy. Fuck. Oh, God. It, it always surprises me. Okay, where's the message? Holy crap. Okay. We're Austin, dude! Thank you. Let's go ahead and fill up that tip jar. Well, mighty thank you. Seriously. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to make a tutorial for folks. Or guide, kind of. But thank you. Seriously, appreciate it. Um, mighty, mighty generous of you. Moving on, next piece. Six, uh, let's see, no, no, 300 meters away. Yeah, good enough, I think. Probably. Yeah, that, that, that's one way of people, you know, uh, Interacting with yours truly, being generous and scaring the fuck out of me. Because the thing is, you hear it 50% of the volume. That jingle plays 100% in my headphones. Mm. Alright, one more. There we go. How many bottles of stuff is your daily... Uh, 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 you can normally drink. Uh, can you buy with 50? Uh, well, let's see. In Latvia, let's see. The average... Good quas. A liter and a half bottle costs, let's see, if I remember correctly, it was around um, Euro 50? Maybe, something like that. Uh, two Euros, let's be, let's be, you know, two Euros, so... I think 25, so that would make... Oh wait, why am I getting inside? 
I need to scan the grass. Um, where's the closest grass piece? There we go. So, there you go. I mean, primarily speaking, if I'm gonna spend 50 bucks somewhere, it's gonna be for electricity, primarily. <laughs> or heating right now, right? And, and, and so on and so forth, so that, you know, I can continue making content for y'alls, but, um... Uh, but, uh, yeah. Don't think that Quast is my primary... Pri pri primary... Uh, concern. Yeah, no. Not quite that, uh... Insane yet. All right. Uh, does your thread ripper replace the central heating? Uh, it could be. I mean, I have uh, a NAS, right? Uh, uh, a 24-hour NAS. So that, yeah, does consume quite a bit of electricity. Uh, yeah, it's not very efficient, shall we say. Let's see. I did scan the grass. I need one more uh, scan. And then I can go and hand in the data. And then I can go and prepare my ship for Obigo, arrive at, a arrive at the Robigo, and that'll be end of the stream. In three hours, I'll be able to do from a fresh start, right, or at least as close as possible to a normal fresh start, to do Robigo. So you can follow the same uh, steps I have, and uh, yeah, have the best start in Elite Dangerous. So there we go. Now, And now I need to plot my route to, uh, where was it? There, there we go. Station. Yes, that's the one. Uh, Suya. All right, off we go to Suya. Okay, not too far away. Mm, yeah, okay, that that should be a decent, decently easy jump. Do. I turned too fast. <laughs> yeah, see, see, these are the things that I edit out in my videos. But oh well. At least it wasn't uh, crashing into a planet state. It was just early drop. Okay. And I can jump. Please be above the line. Damn it, it's not. Fuck! Come on. Be above the line, be above the line, be above the line. Alright, good enough. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Holy fuck! Thank you! Again! Oh god, the message is uh, heat and electricity are important. This is uh, this is for inflation. Thanks, Russia. Yeah, but no, seriously, I appreciate your generosity there, uh, Rustin. Uh, thank you. Seriously. Uh, what was I on about? Ah, yes, right. Uh, the, the interesting thing is, if you want to know how much have you scanned, or what data you are carrying currently uh, in your character. What the fuck, fucker? You can't! <laughs> yep, 
That's right, Elite Dangerous still to this day haven't introduced any sort of a way to check what fucking systems or what have you even scanned in data-wise in your account. There is nothing in transactions, there's nothing in contacts. So that's fun. Yep, not even the stuff that I just scanned. It's not showing up anywhere. Yep, it's only showing us our codex uh, uh, discoveries, but that's not right. That is not correct. Uh, and Pulsar Beam, uh, gifted, uh, uh, gifted one of uh, the, the, the memberships there. Well, awesome, thank you. Uh, mighty, mighty generous of you. Uh, Revco, now, now you get uh, the, the, the membership there for a little bit. Um, you get uh, access to commentary tracks and uh, all the other posts that you know uh, members have uh, that I try to produce uh, once in a while that I have or, or can so there you go okay jump let's see I should be able to do two jumps then yeah two jumps then fuel again two jumps then fuel again all that stuff. Yeah, I'm coming close to three hours, but yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, as I was saying um, previously, Elite's, the, uh, Elite's biggest problem is that traveling anywhere, super cruise or hyper uh, hyperspace as well, it doesn't really matter which one, uh, it it takes uh, basically the majority of your playtime. That's kind of the problem. Uh, rather than having to jump everywhere, yes, it gives that immersion when you're going really far places, sure, but... Uh, for other types of gameplay, when, you know, you want to get somewhere, or rather do something, you need to get somewhere, and majority of your playtime is going to be doing that. If you want to do something else, again, travel, spend or waste a lot of time, needlessly. That's kind of the problem. That's where most of the time uh, playing is. Of course, there's other things like grinding and so on and so forth, but uh, at least thanks to what I'm showing today, at least part of that grind could be... Uh, if not skipped, then at least uh, alleviated quite a lot. So that's kind of the idea behind this particular stream. Or uh, video, whatever, uh, once it's, you know, finished streaming. Uh, what's my take on No Man's Sky? Well, No Man's Sky is a good uh, super casual or ultra casual uh, attempt at a space sim. Um, some people don't count it as space sim, I do. Um, because it basically has the same principles that the space sim would have, and uh, honestly, it's a good um, gateway for you know much uh, harder, if you will, uh, space sims. Not harder as in more difficult, but just uh, as a rock harder um, space sim space type games. Morning. And that's a good thing that uh, No Man's Sky exists because before No Man's Sky, the closest thing to a gateway. Drug, shall we call it, uh, for space games was space combat. Space combat games, like, uh, I don't know, uh, Star Wars Squadrons or what and else. They're okay, they're fun, but they're not fun for too long. And that's kind of problem with them. No Man's Sky can actually be a, a meatier experience and showcase what could be possible with, uh, you know, just more than combat. So yeah, there you go. And that's why it has to be respected, like it or not. Not only because of, uh, you know, what developers have accomplished, but also because of uh, the unique position where it is, if you will.
No, wrong buttons, no. Uh, scanning stuff as I'm going also is a, not a bad idea overall. So I probably should have set the fire group for the surface scanner for the other button. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, jumping and honking, though it's not gonna give you a lot of credits, it's still a good idea when you're going around. It gives you at least a little bit extra money when, you know, you come in and cash it in. Sometimes it can be actually really, really useful. Ducks, right, so, uh, the big station, this one, um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. yep, that's the one. Yeah, that, this is why Elite Dangerous basically needs to be played on two, maybe three screens, uh, to have one third-party tool open, another third, third-party tool open, you know, all that stuff, essentially. <sighs> But yeah, that's, that's kind of the problem with uh, all space sims. All of them have this problem with uh, third-party tool requirements. Even No Man's Sky. Less so, but even No Man's Sky. Thought you played on HOTAS? No, I, I play on keyboard the mouse. Uh, I personally would say it is the best way of controlling uh, in Elite Dangerous. But you know, that's just my bias, super biased way. Though I do have... Um, there, I think you can see it, uh, a joystick. I have played with it, and it gives a very unique experience for all space sims, even flight sims. Um, one would say it's the most correct way of doing it, but play with whatever you can. Since I'm a big cheap ass, you know, uh, uh, I tend to just go with what I have at hand, and keyboard and mouse has always been the case. So, I always play all the games with it, and as it happens, uh, thus far, maybe there is one type of game that I would say is worse with a keyboard and mouse. Fighting games. Every other game can be easily played with a keyboard and mouse. Um, maybe except one, one or two driving sims. Uh, Assetto Corsa would be the example specifically there. But, uh, but yeah, um, keyboard and mouse for the win. It can play everything. Uh, it, it, it's great for everything. Changed my mind. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Time to hand in and see how many credits I get. Hopefully, I'm going to get the 70, uh, 70 million that I am looking for. Uh, and after that, it's going to be off to Robigo. And that's going to be the end of the stream. Because Robigo is when you actually start doing uh, a lot of credits. I'll link the Robigo money-making uh, scheme or, well, uh, uh, method uh, and how-to guide below as well. So, yeah. But that'll be that. Um... Right, so the first thing's first. I might as well just hand in the extra data that I collected as I was just jumping from system to system. See? 400,000. Good enough for maybe a small little upgrade here and there. Simple. Alright, uh, next thing is, of course, disembark. For the real cash. I really wanted to play with uh, controller, but it wasn't easy as uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, to each to its own. But yeah, no, I uh, I would I would agree with that. 
Right, and to hand in the the, 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 the data, you need to go to uh, Vista. In Latvian, by the way, word Vista Welcome means Vista chicken. Economics. Literally, when Windows Vista came out, it was the funniest well, shit. Okay, well, 70 million. As I was saying, about 10,000 per plant. Give or take. So yeah, 70,000 for 70 million is mine. Anything else? Ta-da! I got enough for a python and a well-suited python as well for specifically uh, the passenger missions that Robigo offers and where you actually make money uh, properly without, you know, fucking about. There you go. Within three hours, I'm up and running with the big boys easily. And, you know... Uh, about a hundred uh, million an hour that you get from Robigo, you're able to get to Anaconda within four to five hours easily. However, in five hours, sometimes you can finish literally some other games' uh, campaigns. So that kind of shows how grindy and how time-consuming something like a space sim tends to be. And all of them are the same. All of them are super time consuming. And that's kind of kind of the problem. But there you go. There we go. Python, 55 million. Yes. I can confirm. I'm not gonna store the ship. Fuck fuck this hauler. I don't need it. Yep, confirm the purchase. And now I am in my Glorious Python, my favorite ship in the game. Oh, it's great. All right, and to outfit it for uh, the Robigo, first things first, delete. You don't need guns. Uh, if you're in solo, you're going to be just there with uh, other NPCs. You don't need any guns for that. You can avoid them just going straight forward. None of them will really bother you after that. Utilities empty. Uh, now let's see. Uh, power distributed frame shift drive. Replace it with the highest possible frame shift you can have. Ooh, yeah, that's uh, that's 15 light years. That's not great, but again, we're gonna clean out. There we go. Replace the module. Actually, yeah, replace the module. Yeah, the jump range for. Python, not the greatest thing, but still. So yeah, the way you set up uh, Python for uh, uh, passenger missions is business class cabins. You don't need first class, you don't need luxury. They don't pay extra enough. Often they pay exactly the same, if not lower than business class missions, at least in Robigo. Go figure. So yeah, all you need to do is just uh, shove in as many business class uh, cabins as you can. Shields included. If you're going to be careful enough about your piloting, you don't need shields. If you're not con uh, confident with... Uh, damn it, I'm storing the modules, not selling them. Damn it, no, sell. I need extra cash from selling this shit. Don't need this stuff. Um, what else is here? No. No. Okay, shield. Yeah, there we go. Sell. <sighs> this new UI is just... Mm, I, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Uh, first class economy business. There we go. Although, hold on. 5C. Uh, excuse me, what? Oh, this place doesn't have five... Oh, it doesn't have the f uh, class five business. Crap. Well, just for the purposes of demonstration. Economy works as well. Uh, Robigo uh, has a good, uh, good bit of uh, economy and business class uh, uh, missions that pay the same amount. Economy a bit less sometimes, but regardless, don't worry about it too much if you can't outfit it like, uh, you know, with a, with a full uh, business class left and right. Doesn't matter. 
you know, a couple of uh, slots won't really change too much uh, how you make money with the... Uh, with, 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 with. Ah! With this sort of uh, money making, if you will. And unfortunately... No, there is, there is. There we go. Could, could use another business class there as well, but screw it. It's fine. Um, and there we go. Stored modules again. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I hate this menu as well. No. Nope. Mm, optionals. Sell. I don't need that. Good. There was a switch down below. Okay. There we go. Right. And I still have 8 million left to, you know, use for something. Whatever. Uh, Super Cruise Assist. Yeah, you could go with that. I personally prefer uh, just not to include anything in there. Uh, or you can go with the shield generator, which, yeah, not gonna work. Um, surface scanner, blah, 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 blah. A fuel tank. Yeah, to get to Robigo, you're gonna need a fuel tank. Almost forgot that. You can, of course, order the ship to Seos and travel back from there. Whatever way you get to Robigo, it's up to you. It's gonna take a while with this sort of a fuel tank. I know. I know. Screw it. This is all-in-one. This is gonna be an all-in-one python. It's gonna take a while. Uh, power plant. Since I don't need that much power, I can go with... No. Yes. I can go with this. So that increases a little bit of jump range. Thrusters. Again, I can uh, go as low as possible. More jump range. Life support. D-rated. Nope. D-rated. There we go. Uh, power distributor. Again, you don't need the boost. Go as low as possible. Yep, there we go. Immediately, you get a lot of jump range out of it. Two light years out of just that. Easy. Uh, D-rated, D-rated, A-rated, D, D, D. And sensors. Sensors too. D-rated. Totally. 20 light years. Not great. With engineering, you're gonna get a lot better uh, results. But, hey... Uh, this is from a pressure count, as I said previously. So, I'm ready. Or rather, my python's ready. Alright then, well in that case... Off we go to Robigo. Oh boy, this is gonna be a bitch, but... Oh boy. Robigo. Yep. That's gonna be quite a distance away. And especially with that fuel tank, mm, fuel scoop, I mean, not great. But, there you go. So, it's been three hours. I'm gonna travel there. But, at this point, this is a form, uh, uh, formality. There we go. I English very good today. So, yeah, basically, that's a formality. So, off we go. Um... Before, you know, I end the stream, of course, I got to mention uh, thanks for watching and all that stuff. If you're just jumping around uh, and all that stuff, uh, uh, let's see. It's going to take me, you know, give or take a half an hour to get to Robigo, uh, plus, you know, uh, fueling. So that kind of makes sense. But the basic idea is there. Within three hours, I managed to get to a Python, well-fitted out Python. Of course, I could have done a lot faster. Uh, Robigo, just go to a planet, get one plant, and with one plant, you know, 10 million, I could have bought uh, an Asp Explorer, which is a, you know, faster way of doing things, and uh, equip it the same way. Yes, of course, you could go with the Robigo uh, again, and, uh, and, 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 and get a little bit less money per trip. Uh, with the Asp Explorer, but you could still ac accelerate relatively quickly and get the uh, Python and so on and so forth. But this is just sort of faster, in my opinion. Again, it's up to you how you do it. Um, either Asp Explorer or Python, whichever one you prefer. But I recommend going either which way. And off to Robigo. Of course, you can continue trying, uh, you know, go with uh, uh, plant scanning, which is not a bad idea. But it's a lot of fucking about shall we say. Um, it's not as simple as going to a, a beacon, back to a starport, back to the same beacon, 
back to the starport. It's simpler. Robigo is a lot simpler way of uh, create uh, or gathering money and hey, appreciate uh, bits there, um, uh, Loopy. Yes. So yeah, that's basically how you get up and running with everyone else uh, on the best money making uh, way, or at least the most consistent money making, which is, as I said, Robigo. Of course, there are a few other ways of uh, you know gathering money, like mining, like trading, but for all of those you need big ships. And technically, yes, with this python, you could do it. You could just as well do it. So that's why this portion is so important. Uh, getting to this point, you know, 70, 60 million, this quickly is so important. So there you go. Alternatively, of course, you get, uh, you could do the Road to Riches that I showcased uh, before. Uh, God damn it! What was ah? I forgot already. Uh, the tool. I'll I'll have it linked down below. Every everything will be linked down below. So um, check it out. I'll try to put in timestamps. If somebody in the comments uh, after this thing goes live uh, wants to put in you know uh, timestamps, I'll just copy them and uh, put it in the description as well, so you can skip around easily. But there you go. That's 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 the way to get properly started, and this is the best start you're gonna get. Um, with Odyssey, thanks to Exobiology and the good pay, at least for now, <clears throat> uh, you can get up and running within three hours to a great state. With Road to Riches, you're gonna be spending, uh, I would say, two extra hours. Yeah. About two extra hours, but uh, yeah, you're gonna be about in the same sort of a boat. Yeah. So yeah, these days, getting up and running with Elite Dangerous is not hard. But what follows after that is engineering, and now that is a bitch. Because, uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the Python's jump range can go up to a 50 light years. Uh, and that alleviates a lot of travel time and well, any other ship out there, in fact. So, yeah, um, of course. Um, all right, I forgot to self-promo a little bit there. Um, so, uh, hey, if you enjoy the content I make and all that stuff, of course, do check out the links down below, like uh, Patreon, which is the probably the best way to support the content. Of course, uh, technically Streamlabs is uh, a slightly better one, but... Hey, with the Patreon, Patreon, you get a little bit, uh, you know, inside behind the scenes uh, here and there whenever I can, uh, and uh, other things as well. Oh God, the fuel scoop is killing me. But oh well. Um, of course, you can pick up, you know, merch like this. Though this is a this is this was a prototype, so it's already spurred and not like this. This is one of a kind, but. <laughs> But yeah, something like this uh, on the merch store and uh, all the other useful links down below, like uh, YouTube members as well as uh, uh, Twitch subscriptions and whatnot else. Join the Discord! Why not? If you need some help, I think someone in the Discord could help you out or just fuck about and, you know, I don't know, post some shit posts or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll definitely release all the notifications for new videos, so if you... You know, want to keep up uh, posted with, you know, content I create and so on and so forth. Uh, Discord's a great place. Um, so, yeah. Auction your t-shirt. Probably no. Not, well, unless it's for, you know, like a charity or something. No, not even for charity. I would, I would make something more interesting and cooler than that. Like my, you know, use the abuse t-shirt. No. Come on. Ah, oh, but it's so nice to be back in Python. Oh, yes. The good, good Python. A 
level. What, what the fuck? Is, hold on, are those cold spots on that planet? Or are those space herpes? Okay. Well, that's new. Yeah, that's basically Odyssey's um, added graphics. Um. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Odd. So. Yeah. I will need to fuel relatively soon, so probably should start looking for fuelable stars or well. Uh, refuel capable stars. Alright, this should be a fuelable star, I think. No? Seriously, what the hell? Goddamn giants. Alright, next one is a uh, fuel star. There we go. It's so nice that the game actually shows whether or not it is fuel star there. <clears throat> back in the, back in my day, we didn't have anything like that. Swear. Fuel rats watching the stream gearing up. Well, Dutton Wolf, <laughs> maybe so. But don't worry, I, I have a couple of tricks to avoid that sort of situation. Yet. No worries, I'm fine. I do have fuel scoop on, yes. Why am I not fueling? Uh, hello? Yeah, I'm not fueling. What the hell? No, oh, gods. Uh, Tony! Well, appreciate subscribing there on the Twitch side. Uh, okay, insufficient fuel. Yeah, okay, I can't jump to the next one. So, instead, what I'm gonna be doing is just what I did previously, and that is search for fuelable stars. Uh, population is off. Yabba dabba do. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Right. Well, I can jump to this one that is fuelable and is on the same sort of a direction I'm going at. No, it's not showing fuel star. What the fuck? Hey? Oh well. It said fuel star. Oh. Right, right, I, I read no good. See, see, this is the thing. I, I don't quite rely on these little prompts. I just, when I, whenever I have the need, I look at it. All right, so, actually, now that I think of it, I can go as close as possible, or rather as much as needed. Let's see, what's the maximum fuel rate of this? 42? Yep, 42. All right. In that case, now replot the route. Go be go. There we go. Come on. Uh, hello? I almost thought the game would crash. Boy, would that be a pretty shit way of uh, uh, showcasing Elite, huh? All right, and now we can see slowly as the fuel is go. Oh God damn it! It's gonna take a while now. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Yep. This is why there's a better idea to get a better jumping ship, like, let's say, a hauler. And jump to Sios. Um, hold on, let me just show you the alternative. Um, yeah, screw it. 
see us. There we go. Uh, jumping to far away place called Seos. All that. Open the system map. Get to a starport and order your ship to be transported there. Yes, you're gonna be literally, you know, going to, going off and making some, I don't know, tea, coffee, whatever you want to, uh, in the meantime for, you know, uh, about an hour's worth of time that it takes for a ship to be transferred there. But at least you won't need to be jump, uh, jumping around there. Uh, so, yeah, besides you can always transport uh, your ship there, you know, with all the gear equipped without the need to equip a fuel scoop, then sell it and, you know... Sacrifice that slot, because you can't Warning. find um, a oh, what is it the, the the passenger cabins anywhere near Sotis uh, or Robigo specifically. So yeah, you literally need to transport uh, the gear there. Um, well, I'm doing it the dumb way, let's call it. But hey, screw it. Fine, don't think about it. <laughs> Oh, don't think too hard about it. Temperature critical. Eh, what, what's what's your problem, ship? No, don't go forward. Taking heat damage. Eh, it's fine, it's fine. Wow, the glass is dirty. Oh yeah, well. Oh well, oh yeah, this is gonna take too much time. So yeah, this is why you would transport the ship there. Rather than than doing this, oh well. Okay, fine. I'm not gonna go anywhere if, uh, if I cook my f uh, frame shoot drive, so that's not a great idea. Let's get away a little bit. Is this good enough? Looks like this is good enough. Yep. Temperatures are dropping. Good. It's gonna be a bit slower, but still. Yeah, yeah. Hull breach attack. What, what is attacking me, huh? Of course nothing. Well, except for my own stupidity, so there you go. Um, nah, everything's fine. Everything's, yeah, it's fine. Refuel at the station. Well, that would be a possibility. Morning. Problem with that particular uh, suggestion, you see, is that uh, going to Robigo, for example, let's say uh, we can find stations through economy types. If there is an economy, that means there is a station or at least civilization. Right? There we go. Even Targoid stuff, right? As you can see, or, well, would be possibly able to see, there are no starports nearby. <laughs> They're literally... Wait, hold on. Why are these not showing up? Hold on. Boom. Yep, there we go. They are both in boom. There we go. They're technically... Actually, no, there are a couple of them. Huh. Yep, this is gonna be a bit faster to go to these random... Hold on, can I even fuel here? Horizons or orbital. Um, where are the stats for it? I hate this new... Okay, here we go. Active. Docking. Imports, exports. Who cares? Docking. Just, just... Ah, I hate this. Okay. Restock, repair, refuel. Gotcha. Good. Alright. Still, still need a little bit more fuel to get there. Yeah, so I'm still fueling. Back in my day, there weren't also any uh, starports between Robigo and the bubble. Uh, just, just to show you how far Robigo is out of the bubble. There we go. That's more or less the bubble. And we are going here. Yeah. But hey, you make 
decent amount of money there. We get closer. Good enough. And am I capable of going there? One more jump. Come on, one more jump. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give fuel. I'm lazy and use the fleet carrier. I mean, that's one way of doing it, sure. Still gonna take about an hour to get there. Come on, fuel faster. Come on, turn. Turn! Turn full! Yeah, that fuel scoop is a nightmare. Aha! Here we go. Alright. Now I can jump. How do I see the bubble on the map? Well, the bubble is a loose term uh, coined by basically the players mostly. Um, though the best representation for the bubble particularly is the power play uh, regions, if you will. So selecting power play, any of the powers, one of them shows, uh, you know, the, 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 the sort of the, the, the bubble. So there you go. And all the friendship drives are charging indeed. Four, three, two, one, there's a uh, there's a station near Obigo where you can buy passenger cabins, isn't there? Nope. Uh, let me just show you what I mean by that. Um, God damn it, did I close? Damn it, I did close it. Alright, give me a moment. LA database. Um, ba -ba -ba, stations. There we go. Go, B, go. There we go. First things first. Do this. Just skim it. Um. Let's say business, just one of them. Uh, Robigo. The closest place in Robigo is. Oh. Seos? Really? Since when? Since when in Seos did you. God damn it. Ah, fuck. Alright, maybe I could have gotten there a lot faster and outfitted there. Shit. Ah, crap. Okay, well, that's new. Back in my day, they didn't exist, damn it. Alright, uh, what else is available? Prospector, Hatchbreaker, uh... Da -da -da -da. Aha, not all of them, though. It's just, uh, 3 and 6D. Uh, what about the other ones? Hold on, uh, Brunel and Babbage. Da -da -ba 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 Right, so we got... Okay, this one has uh, most cabins. Good, and economies. God damn... Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, yeah, I could have gone to Seos, then outfitted there. Shit. Well, there we go. Now I know. Actually, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. In the next... Uh, the next stop, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. God damn it, I closed it again. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's good. Um, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Da. Da, Robigo. 
Um, business. Though I'm gonna have to jump between a couple of uh, starports, so that's not great. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of a annoyance, but yeah, what you're gonna do? Let's see, cabins two, four, six. Yes. Um, we all this. Um, Python. Uh, clean this one. Clean this one. Whatever. Do -do 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 -do. Business. Yep, that's all I need is uh, economy there. Exchange all those for business. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be... I'm gonna have to go from starport to starport because only one of them... Sinclair, and that's a, oh, that's a planetary base. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, but. Damn it. Yeah, probably should have looked this up a little bit more. Uh. Dig, greetings. Uh, did the business there. Anyways, a fellow creator by the name of Dig that is here. Uh, kind of in the chats there. Um, yes. Anyways, uh, those that are unfamiliar with Dig's uh, work, he's doing a uh, Star Citizen content for the most, well, the only part uh, right now. I don't think... Yeah, I haven't seen any other type of gaming or other type of content uh, uh, made. So, yeah, Star Citizen content creator these days. Uh, used to do some Elite Dangerous stuff as well, so go check him out. Again, dig that 32. So, yeah. A little bit of shout out there. Right, anyways, um, how's the stream going? Well, besides some um, planning fuck ups, it's fine. <laughs> Besides some planning fuck-ups, it's fine. Oh, boy. Uh, RGB sh shelves. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, hold on. There we go. Let's make it extra RGB. Come on. No? Hold on. No? Ah, screw it. I wanted to just make it uh, uh, strobing the fuck out of it, but I guess not now. Though it is changing color right now a bit too fast. Ah! God damn it. Turn! Already! Thank you. Alright. Yeah, I don't have the boost, so that's another thing. There we go. Back to normal. Uh, uh, I can't read that name properly, so I'm just gonna go with model there. Um, da -da -da, uh, uh, later to the Discord, but thanks for all the knowledge uh, you have dropped. Uh, okay, MX, uh, uh, YouTube Commander. Uh, I guess. Well, I appreciate it. Yep, I kind of missed it here. This is old Robigo. Oh, yeah, Robigo is still running. And I am going to Robigo after three hours of just, uh, you know, starting from complete. Fresh zero. I could have done it a little bit faster. As I said, I did a, a tactical whoopsie. <laughs> if let's call it that. Uh, or misplanned a few things, but you know, there you go. 
Uh, it's a real world example of how quickly you can get up to running uh, at full speed for Obigo. More or less. Within four hours, it is doable. Uh, if you don't want to do that, within three hours you have a python and you can do quite literally anything you really want to. Alright, so I need two outfits. In fact, there's a faster way to go into, uh, into the uh, docking. I mean, hangar. And this is it. This is a faster way of doing it, by the way. You don't need to wait for the animation to do it. It's cool, but when you're semi-rushing, well, there you go. This is a bit faster. All right, outfitting. All right, since I will be able to buy this stuff, uh, it's going to be cell module, cell module, cell module, cell module, cell module, cell. Module, cell. Sell. Sell. Although, actually, no, yeah, I, I will need that stuff as well. Anyways, um, sell that. I will be able to buy it back just in case if I screw up. Uh, I don't think there is a fuel scoop. That is, there is slightly better one. Screw it. I'll, I'll just go with that. Um, fuel tanks would be nice. Everything else is as I want it. Hold on, what, what was my jump range? 28. 28 uh, light years. Okay, so can I get to Seos now? Since I do need to outfit in Seos. Seos. Come on. There we go. I need fuels. Fuel t Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go with an extra fuel tank. It's the stupid way of doing things, but, you know, fuck it. Uh, as long as it works, you know. Let's go with a uh, fuel tank. Chunks, 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 chunks. Done, done. Refuel. And lo and behold, I can do it. Yep, good. Neat. And after that, it's basically going for this... Right, it's a uh, Babbage. Um, let's see. I don't think Brunel had... Uh, cabins. Yeah. Uh, Sinclair Market had uh, the Class 3. Fine. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 you know what? I, j I just need to get to. Ah. Screw it. I need to get to Robigo just to showcase uh, those missions, regardless. The rest of the stuff I can do later. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So if we go to, actually, let's go first to Robigo, and that'll be it. That'll be good enough, I think. Um, showing off those missions, uh, yeah, I'm gonna explain once I arrive in Robigo. Yep, here we go. And that makes uh, ten jumps. Thank you. 
Okay, next. And the stars are super bright. Doesn't look like a star no more. Or at least, elite te textured star. Uh, although you can dis- Actually, now that I think of it, you can disable bloom. If you disable in settings bloom, uh, it might reduce the glare, shall we call it? Um, and you might actually see the texture underneath the glare. That the stars have, so that's kind of a problem there. But yeah, yeah. No oh, guys. Um. Uh. XGN. Right. Well, I appreciate you subscribing there on the Twitch sites. I really do. Thank you. And uh. uh yeah. Welcome. Okay. A couple more jumps, and then I could explain how to further grind in Elite Dangerous. And yeah. There you go. How to have the further best start in Elite. That will be pretty much it, it on the stream. Uh, four hours, I kind of planned to do this within two hours. But yeah, when it comes to traveling, as you can tell, traveling takes a lot of time. Planning also is another one. So there is that. But this is real world example, right? Uh, this is how much time it often takes to just test something within Elite Dangerous, so hopefully you appreciate the, the little bit of uh, uh, the, the, the behind the scenes, well not, oh yeah, behind the scenes sort of uh, work that goes into making, you know, these types of guides and, uh, you know, these, these examples uh, overall. So hopefully, who, who uh, well, hopefully, folks that are gonna be watching this as a video, well, at least will enjoy the mad ramblings that uh, that I go up to, you know, uh, about a couple of things during the nonsense and boring moments. But, uh, there you go. Play along, if you will. So yeah. Well, but there you go. There you go. Thanks. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna deal with that later. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look. Let's take a look how the game looks without the bloom, because I'm, I'm curious. I usually play in normal old version of the game. Uh, let's see, quality, ta -ta -ra -ta 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 -ta. bloom, 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 bloom. Where was the fucking bloom? Uh, I usually keep bloom at the lowest possible. Blur. Oh, that's why it... I usually keep it at medium. That's why it looks so blown out. There we go. Immediately, normally looking fucking gash thing. Gaseous thing. That's why it looks so blown out. Jesus Christ. Yeah, post process effects are not always good. Film grain can go suck a dick. Uh, noisy image or whatever other nonsense can definitely suck a dick and bloom only in very small doses very small doses i will tolerate
let's see, four more jumps and then I'm in Robigo. After a couple more jumps, I'm in Seos when I can outfit stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna call it quits when I'm in uh, Robigo and explain how to, you know, do the Robigo runs. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, very simple. Whoever created the chromatic aberration should die in ball of fire. Well, that's one way of uh, putting it. I mean, yeah, chromatic aberration is essentially simulating the the, uh, the bad lenses or bad lens effect. Uh, it can be used and has been used well uh, in scary horror type movies. Not, not movies, but games. Uh, that sort of effect. Uh, Alien Isolation comes to mind. Uh, if you've played itch.io games like uh, Backrooms, uh, right? They uh, at least a few of those games uses that sort of effect. And yes, it can be used for that effect. But playing a game with it for long mm, does not feel good. You're right. You're absolutely right. So yeah, a lot of post-process effects are stylistic choices that uh, often are pushed too far. Especially the fucking motion blur, actually. Fuck motion blur. Genuinely. The only game where I could actually kind of accept motion blur. Maybe. Is a driving game. A driving game and nothing else. Motion blur is horrible. And the fact that Elite and other games keep motion blur on even on the low setting i shit you not if you currently right now go in settings and put elite dangerous on low graphics settings it will still have everything on low but motion blur on i'm not kidding it takes extra processing power why <laughs> like makes no sense not only it looks horrible, but uh, yeah, it also is just it on low. Elite Dangerous, ladies and gentlemen, and a few other games, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's just the funniest shit. Ah, uh, but what are you, what are you gonna do, huh? And now we are finally in Robigo, so off we go to Robigo Mines. Yes, you can order a ship from Hauser's Reach, but the reason why you go for Robigo Mines is first of all because you get slightly better missions from it. Uh, yes, in Hauser's Reach you can get actually the, uh, what was it, uh, a big ship missions, or rather you can dock a big ship and use that for this, like let's say Anaconda, Cutter, blah 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 blah, but it's not as uh, profitable as um, medium ship, or rather specifically a medium ship like, uh, you know, Python, uh, Asp Explorer and so on and so forth. So Robigo works either from Ro uh, Robigo Mines specifically, or from Seos. Uh, where you could use the big ship and just do one jump rather than multiple jumps that you have to do with this one But I'll explain, but I'll explain. So basically I either pick this 
go watch my video you know uh, there'll be a link down below or, uh, or 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 take the seos route which is the same same thing you're gonna be doing the same thing uh, but from a closer one you don't need a lot of jump range from seos uh, and then so on and so forth it's a lot faster route uh, but it's not as profitable so this is slightly more profitable you can let's see the last time i checked it it uh, was capable of doing about 120 million an hour if you're lucky on average is about 100 worst case scenario 60. And that's kind of the thing uh when it comes to exobiology yes you will make slightly above 60 on the lowest but maximum is about 90. If you're super fast, maybe more, but I doubt it. On average, you're not gonna min-max the fuck out of things. It's it's very RNG dependent. Yes, this is also RNG dependent, but not as much. So, but hey, you know, hey, uh, regardless, the 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 exobiology is good for starting. This is uh, good for just always, basically for anything. Uh, and you can stop doing it whenever. No, then again, exobiology also, so... Eh. Right. So, yeah, because I downgraded my ship's thrusters, yeah, the speed at which I'm traveling is not great. But, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter particularly. It would be a bit better if, yeah, you could equip a little bit uh, uh, better power distributor to boost, but, yeah, it doesn't matter. Ah, there we go. And there we go, that's the Rubigo. Right, so... What do you do once you're here with all the passenger cabins, right? Once you have equipped with the ship uh, with uh, business or economy passengers, uh, passenger cabins, what you're going to be doing is search for missions, specifically passenger missions. Right, so you're going to be going for, uh, let's see, personal transport. Uh, the difference between pers personal and group transports is that groups uh, will be able to fill... Um, all the cabins, or rather all the spaces in the cabins, regardless uh, of, uh, you know, the separation between the cabins. You can have 10 passengers, uh, and you can have, you know, multiple cabins with, you know, just two, so uh, sl uh, two seats in them. And you can still pick that mission as long as you have total uh, enough uh, seats. Um, so there you go. <clears throat> as for... The personal ones, those require each specific uh, cabin to be for the specific passengers only. So, what you're going to be searching for specifically, and eventually you're going to be, you know, uh, well liked by these powers, uh, as you can see for me, um, that they will offer you, you know, more uh, lucrative missions. Eventually, that's the reputation build that you're gonna have to go through. As you can see, I've been here plenty of times, so I'm maxed out. So you can see all the best uh, missions there. So, what you're gonna be seek, uh, looking for are missions. Ah, uh, crap. It's not gonna allow me to showcase. Okay, here we go. For example, th this is the same mission. You're gonna be searching for missions that uh, tell you to go to serious atmospherics. You can see that right there, right? Sirius Atmospherics is a tourist beacon located in Sotis. And there are a lot of missions here that uh, direct to the same tourist beacon. So, you only need to go there once to complete a lot of missions. So, the idea is to get as many missions in as possible. Good paying missions. Obviously, pick the ones that uh, pay the most first. And then, you need to just go to Sotis. Uh, with this python, even if you haven't engineered it. Three jumps, there and back. Um, you're going to be spending about, uh, let's see, three jumps. Every jump takes about a minute to do. 
uh, arriving at the place takes extra minutes. So with this sort of unengineered ship, you're going to be doing a run every 12 minutes if you're quick enough. And you're going to be earning about uh, 12 to 15 million per run. So if you calculate, it's going to be about 60 upwards to 100 and more. Of course, if you engineer your ship, more credits an hour uh, if you, you know, can jump three jumps rather than one. Uh, of course, that depends on, of course, your uh, piloting as well. But uh, every every trip takes, you know, 10 to 12 minutes with unengineered uh, stuff as well. So uh, you're going to be jumping to Sirius and back. That's it. That's how simple the Robigo is. Uh, for more information, of course, uh, I'll have the link for, for, for the Robigo uh, moneymaker down below. And uh, you'll be able to quickly accelerate uh, the, 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 the income and purchase whatever you need within, you know, a couple of hours of play. Yes, hours of play just to grind for something cool. That's really dangerous. That's MMORPGs overall, but uh, it's, again, what we normally understand as MMORPG is a bit different, but regardless, you get the point. So just look for missions that are for serious atmospherics and just pick them. There you go. There are plenty of them. Sightseeing adventure. Uh, there is another sightseeing adventure. There is another sightseeing adventure. Three, three million per mission, right? So that's one cabin. Um, overall, Python can have, uh, let me open um, Python. There we go, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, nine cabins. And, well, tenth if you manage to get another one, right? So, and every mission is on average about an, uh, a million and a half. Uh, bigger ones, obviously, is going to be three million. The lower one's going to be a million or something like that. So, yeah, on average, a mission is going to be 1.5 uh, million each at the max reputation. So... 10 of them overall means about 15 million. And there you go. 15 million per run. Not a bad deal for 10 to 12 minute runs, right? So there you go. That's the Robigo and how to do it. Uh, so hopefully uh, this whole big stream slash video is helpful um, for those that are coming, you know, uh, later down the line for Elite Dangerous or maybe y'all who are watching. So, now be about it on how to get the best start for Elite Dangerous. Uh, with Odyssey, yeah, that's exobiology. Or rather, first you get uh, a little bit of road to riches to get the uh, first capital, to buy the suit, to buy the jump range for the ship. Not necessarily great, but at least something, right? Um, so, a little bit of road to riches first, then exobiology for, you know, a couple of uh, million for the Python, or... Uh, if you're going with the Asp Explorer, the same thing here. Uh, get the ship, get the passengers, uh, pas passenger cabins, and get to Robigo. And then just loop around until you get enough money for whatever you may need or want. You don't need to find new planets. You don't need to just hope for the best. It's all here. It's all here in Robigo. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this and... Uh, I'll see you the next time, of course. Uh, I've been yours truly, and uh, check the link for uh, down below for uh, the links. And um, yeah, support the content I make on Patreon and all that stuff. Usually I edit this stuff, so it's kind of weird doing it live, but there you go. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Take care, and let me know what you think. Now, where's the button to turn this off? <laughs> Take care.